targets the brain's cerebral cortex, stimulating the centers responsible for fear and visual processing. Test subjects reported an unprecedented decrease in appetite and showed dramatic weight loss, with only 18% reporting night terrors or subsequent cardiac arrest. It's designed to make fatty and sugary foods even scarier. An apple just looks like it has fangs, but a milkshake will threaten you and your family by name. Earlier incarnations of the drug proved to be too powerful and produced mental states in which test subjects no longer believed that food had ever existed. An unshakable belief that the subject had to eat all of the food on the planet in order to prevent food from rising up and destroying the human race. Oh, you don't understand how to do this. Or the conviction that food could be negotiated with diplomatically. With the Lab Report, I'm Aisha Patel. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're kicking off another edition of the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free line, 855-450-3733. Coming up, the zero tolerance at schools just, you know, just when you think it can't get more ridiculous, they always seem to manage to cross another line. Uh, we'll get you the story about what happened to a young man who had a BB gun in his car. And this isn't a normal situation wherein, you know, they would search a car parked in a campus parking lot and find this sort of thing. I don't want to tease the whole thing, though, so we'll get to that here in a moment. We've actually got Ty to start things out here. You may call in via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, and uh, it is Ian and Mark here with you on Saturday night. We are live. Let's go to the Skype. Uh, Ty, you're on Free Talk Live in Tennessee. Hey, good evening. Uh, hey. There have been some very interesting discussions lately on Free Talk Live about reality and consciousness. Yes. Um, I think it's important to learn about these things because, you know, we're not provided with a user's guide to the human experience at birth. And I don't think we can personally be free until we intentionally become the masters of our own consciousness. Hmm. You know, the, the truth is that we are programmed from birth by social institutions, family, school, religion, politics, etc. And this program is programming is done by hooking our attention. That's why we're always scolded by authority figures to pay attention. We are taught what is right, what is wrong by this system of reward and punishment. Um, Don Miguel Ruiz calls this process domestication in his great book, The Four Agreements. Yeah, which I highly, I highly recommend reading that if you want to learn uh, self mastery and how to become personally free. Uh, I'm, I'm in the process of working through those ideas, and I actually find it very liberating. Hmm. I've never heard of the Four Agreements. Sounds interesting. Now, the process of domestication, according to this book, and he's got some interesting ideas. It implants this uh, judge archetype and a victim archetype into our consciousness along with the guidelines of what is acceptable and what's unacceptable, what I call the book of rules. Now, these archetypes are not our true selves, but we become so familiar with them over time that we begin to think of them as us, that they are yeah, us. Sure. Yeah, eventually... Can you give an example even, of what you're talking about there? Well, let me finish this thought okay. first. Eventually, we don't need authority figures to reward or punish us. We become self-domesticating. Okay, as an example, uh, when we're in certain situations with, with certain people, we may look at, at somebody that we find attractive, and by the way they look at us, we may think, oh, we must not be good-looking enough, or we not, must not be attractive enough, when the other person may just have a bad case of gas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so so we, we have this judge that automatically uh, makes this verdict about us, and we – over time, we, we begin to identify with that judge, and we, we punish ourselves, and the punishing uh, aspect of our consciousness is the, the victim consciousness. So when you say so, judge, you're talking about internally. You're, you're saying yeah, you're judging yeah, yourself. Inner, exactly, the inner judge. Now, um, what I'm trying to get at is you know, the path to freedom is to unlearn these agreements that are implanted when our attention was hooked as children and replace them 
with deliberate intentional agreements. It's uh, what some traditions call the the second attention. Uh, I Tell think me more the, about that, the second attention. Okay, remember the attention is what's hooked to teach us what's right and wrong, right? We're, okay. Th- and those are implanted into us. The second attention is when we deliberately look at those agreements and say, is this correct? Is this really right? So like when if you think about something uh, that you've, You've been conditioned to yeah. believe, say, from religious aspects or perhaps cultural society. You think about something you've been conditioned to believe, uh, and then you rethink about it. You realize that you've you've come up with that thought again, and uh, you sort of analyze it uh, disconnectedly. Is that what you're getting at there? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And you try to replace it with something that's more truthful, mm. that is an intentional agreement about how reality works. But it's it's not a real easy process because, like I said, these these judge this judge and victim becomes like it's it's a part of us. Yeah, and we often confuse it with us. So you you don't often see when you are playing these roles. So it's a matter of raising your awareness to where you see this happening, and then you can interrupt it and put a stop to it, and and then yeah. look at, hey, how did this chain reaction go into effect? What is the reality here? And you replace the uh, implanted agreements with this deliberate conscious agreement, and you become more free. You get more personal power with each of these agreements that you do away with. Yeah, there are a lot of different uh, ways this idea has been expressed that I've heard, and yours is with this the term agreements. Um, certainly some have discussed it as sort of a lower and higher consciousness, that the lower consciousness sort of acts on instinct and what it's been trained to do, and then you have this higher level consciousness that can analyze the lower consciousness and, and make decisions based on uh, higher goals, if you will. Well, I mean, it sounds to me like you're applying critical thinking skills to social to socialized behavior. Um, I mean, there's some things we're told are the right thing to do, and then at some point we come to another to other conclusions. You know, mm-hmm. maybe that's maybe that's not the way it's supposed to be. Right, I, but like so- for instance, uh, you know, for for a while I was told uh, when I was a kid, you don't eat eggs; they got cholesterol in them. You just don't eat eggs; they're bad mm-hmm. for you. Now we're told, eat eggs; they're good for you. Um, so you know, I mean, this is sort of the, uh, you know, at some point or another, somebody changed their paradigm. Right, and and the idea is to try to find the things that are harmful, the things that we are punishing ourselves See, on. Some of these agreements, like that, we're too ugly or we're, or we're not. Uh, we're not attractive enough or we're too fat or whatever, you know, these these things that we judge ourselves internally for, we have to learn which ones of these are harmful and which which ones we're doing sort of unconsciously or subconsciously. We're not deliberately making these, uh, mm. um, I, you know, taking these ideas on. We're just automatically doing it. So it's yeah. a, it is a matter of raising your awareness so that you're aware of when it happens. Another another way I've heard this described is sort of living life by default, just sort of responding to the stimulus that comes into your life, whereas versus living your life intentionally, where you're creating sort of your reality and, uh, and living being in much quiet more, desperation, being much more deliberate about the things that you think and the things right. that you choose. Right, deliberate and in, in, intention is a key thing of this idea of the second attention. You are intentionally replacing this chain reaction of thinking, feeling, and acting with a deliberate thought, feeling, and action. Good stuff tonight, Ty. Anything else you want to share? No, that's it, but I highly recommend that book if you get a chance. And Uh, what was it again? The Four Four Agreements? Agreements. The Four Agreements. By whom? By by Don Don Miguel Miguel Ruiz. R-U-I-Z. Excellent. Thanks for the call tonight, Ty. I appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about these sort of es- esoteric. I mean, is it is it right to call this esoteric? Because most people don't talk about these things. Might be. I mean, you know, it's it to me, it's just empowered living. I mean, that's it, it's not that big of a deal. People, yeah, believe, but how how popular are these ideas? I don't know. I think everybody believes that they're um, that they're willing and able to question their own paradigms. I don't think they unnecessarily they actually are, do. <laughs> and I don't even know that you and I are. Um, but I think that people do believe. I believe I am. You believe you are. They believe they are. Well, they you know, can. that's an interesting point because uh, one of the primary aspects of my belief system is that humans shouldn't aggress against one another. And for me to be able to question something like that, 
would be a shocking turnaround. Like, I can't imagine what circumstance would make me decide, oh, yeah, it's fine to go ahead and threaten my peaceful neighbors. I'm just, I just can't see that. Having come to that conclusion that threatening peaceful people is wrong, turning that around. I don't know what evidence or what persuasive points would mm-hmm. possibly make me think that. So, no, I mean, it's not like I'm not willing to analyze it. I just can't possibly understand what it would be that would make me turn away from that. 855 453. I mean, some people, it's happened. Some people have bit, become libertarian and they've gone uh, to be to believe in the government again, to believe in the state, and that uh, that some people need to be told what to do at the threat of violence. Some people who have not hurt others, that is, need to be told what to do. You can take control of the airwaves here and share your thoughts. This is Free Talk Live's Live Saturday Edition. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body, and new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Kid. If something in this facility breaks, bends, or bursts, Granger's got our back. Mm. 20 cases of disc springs from Granger.com, new rotary encoder, ordered on Granger's mobile app, a dozen splash goggles from the local Granger branch. What more could you want in life? Granger has over 1 million products for all our facility's needs. 1 million. That's a 1 followed by 6 zeros, kid. Everything we need whenever we need it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones get it done gold it's like nothing else on earth from the romans through the renaissance from the industrial age to the space age gold has weathered the test of time for six thousand years gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth according to the world gold council and the u.s mint demand is at an all-time high the stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day midas resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with a truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Sometimes you have to do things in emergencies that you don't do in normal times. Like lock up um, Japanese Americans? Look, you don't believe in the internment of the Japanese Americans? Yes, the hell I don't. I don't believe in locking somebody up for not doing Let anything me tell you wrong. Something. There were Japanese Americans who assisted Japanese soldiers in the Hawaiian Islands at that time. So grab all the families and throw them in a concentration camp. That's a great solution, Lou. That's something that should happen in the land of the free, you right? See, I don't even like you using the term concentration That's camp. That's what they were, Lou. Because they were not death camps. They were, they were, it doesn't they matter were, if there weren't gas chambers on they the were not premises. Death camps. You see, you're using euphemism. I call them a concentration camp. You're concentrating people all in one location, Lou. I don't, you know, you're giving it an implication that it does not have. I think you should go to the uh, Japanese Americans and ask them, Lou. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. 
You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and we're doing the live Saturday edition of the program, inviting you to take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll tell you about the student who was suspended after a BB gun found in his car off campus. 855-450-FREE. And join us on Skype at username lrn.fm. If you haven't heard of Bitcoins, you need to kind of get with it. Bitcoins have been around for about five years now. They're the international currency, and they're not backed by any government. And this is what makes Bitcoins different. They are backed by an unbreakable code on the Internet. And they allow you to send and receive money anywhere in the world. So if, for instance, you're getting on a plane in Chicago and you're flying, you know, or at least at some point or another, you're going to land in Tokyo, you don't need to change your... American Bitcoins for Japanese Bitcoins because Bitcoins are the same everywhere around the world. Mm. This is the next evolution in currency. There's no reason, no reasonable reason why you should be having to tra- trade you know, government currency in one place for government currency in, the, in another place. It's just them saying that they, they're just deciding what the currency is going to be. And they're uh, completely unqualified. Who, wh- what, what elected official in Washington, D.C. or Tokyo or wherever is qualified to make some kind of decision about currency? Please consider getting some Bitcoins. And when you get some Bitcoins, you can go get a wallet at blockchain.info. You know what? I just uh, sent some Bitcoins to some of our listeners. We'll talk about how you can get in on that here in a little bit. So blockchain.info, if you get, go get a wallet, then uh, we'll tell you how to get some uh, Bitcoins to fill it here shortly. But you have to have, essentially, with Bitcoins, you have to have the currency and the account. The wallet is the account. So you can go to blockchain.info. It is the best online wallet available to you. And it, anybody can go there and get one for free. You just go to blockchain.info. And what's nice about it is you can access it on your computer, your smartphone, wherever you need to. Blockchain.info. Let's go to Clayton in Kentucky. Clayton, you're on Free Talk Live. How's it going, guys? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Well, for a while now, this, this topic has, keeps coming up on your show. And, and, it, and it kind of aggravates me when it comes up that um, there's never uh, there's always the assumption that it's correct. What topic? I'm talking about. I'm talking about income equality. Okay. okay. What do you mean? The the presumption uh, that the income equality gap, I should say, where the people that make the most money make uh, over time make more and more, and the people in the middle class make less relative, <clears throat> and that that's a bad thing. Um, I don't understand. Are you saying that Free Talk Live's hosts have said that there's a gap and that it's no. bad? No, but okay. many of your listeners have, and the, uh, when I've listened, the, none of your hosts have contradicted this point. Well, I think that uh, I think that over time, the Federal Reserve robs uh, through its creation of currency, robs people of the wealth that they would otherwise have. That if you don't understand this um, mechanism and how it's used, that it's going to harm you in the future. So, yeah, that's what I think. Well, there there is a point though. That I want to make about Please. it, about the idea. Um, over the past decade or so, the income inequality gap has increased significantly by numbers, which is actually true. But once upon a time, it was much worse in the United States than it is today. It, during the uh, early part of the Industrial Revolution around 1860, 1870, it was really bad. And it culminated with the, the construction of the Biltmore Estate of Asheville, North Carolina. George Washington Vanderbilt II built it in 1895. It was over 179,000 square feet. It had a swimming pool, a bowling alley, and air conditioning, and 8,000 acres of yard. Sounds pretty nice. It was beautiful. I saw it. It's now a museum. You can go there anytime you want to because yep. no living person can afford to live there. Oh, but the <laughs> but the government uh, doesn't have any problem of uh, taking people's money and uh, making that happen, right? Nope. It's 
not government owned. It's oh, actually owned excellent. by the Vanderbilt. Every once in a while, you'll they, find they this. They opened it up. I'm sorry, what? Every once in a while, you'll find this uh, privately run museum. Yep. And it's beautiful. But it's just an example that even our, our rich today, the richest men in America today, couldn't afford to live there. We don't even know how much it costs to build it, but it's been estimated that if it was built today, it would cost about $2 billion. Jeez. Hmm, okay. And your point is what? Well, the people in the 18, uh, from 1870 to 1890 uh, doubled their, um, the average worker doubled their earning power in that amount of time. That there has never been a mount, uh, that there's never been a period in the United States where earning power has increased as quickly as it did in sort of the latter part of the 19th century. Yes. And the idea that it's bad now, just because some numbers, uh, like economics numbers say it is, is not necessarily true. So here's what I don't know, right? Like, so I know that a lot of a lot of people don't have jobs. Okay, um, the the unemployment numbers are crap compared to the amount of people that don't have jobs. There's something like 35 to 40 percent of Americans of working age that aren't working, and whether they want to or not want to or whatever, it, it's it's frightening. So I don't know. It, like, it's difficult for me to be sort of connected to those people because I don't believe the government's numbers. I don't believe the people that use the government's numbers, um, and that's what most economists use. And I don't have a connection to what it's like for those people. My business has grown over the last uh, five years, six, uh, you know, ten years, uh, when in the when the economy hasn't been so great, and life is better for me than it was ten years ago. But I know there are people out there that it, that there aren't that it, that is not so. So m my concern is is that I do not want to sound callous to those people because all I'm going to get is a bunch of anecdotal calls. People are going to say, "Yes, this is so." No, this is not so. And uh, at, at that point, uh, there's no way for me to sort of referee. I can go find whatever information I want to find on the Internet to support whichever of these I wish to support. And it, it's one of those things where there's so much emotion on either side that you can't find the facts. Well, you can't find the facts because there really aren't any private facts to be had. The government numbers are really the only ones available. And it brings up another point. The Dread Pirate Roberts was technically unemployed. The Dread Pirate Roberts is technically what? Unemployed. The Dread Pirate Roberts of the Silk Road was technically unemployed. Yep. I bet he was counted. Probably. I bet he I bet he made a lot of money too. Clayton, thank you for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. So basically he was saying that the income gap was more pronounced in the late 1800s? I, the, I don't think the income gap is the problem here. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is sort of, you know, people being is the coziness between corporations and government, and that's what sort of creates all these problems. If people could go out and start their own businesses more easily, then there wouldn't be as you know, people would be able to go out and get a job. They'd be able to go out and do some work, but it's was difficult. it easier to start a business in the late 1800s? Of course, than it, it was is today. absolutely, absolutely. I would suspect that would be the case. So that may be a factor as to why people were able to create more wealth in that time frame. Well, you know, the fact is that the businesses don't want competition. They don't want little competition. They don't want big competition. And the average individual can compete if they're not regulated out of the picture. And many times they're licensed and regulated out of the picture. It's true. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Of course, I support the idea of people being able to create wealth for themselves, start their own businesses, be entrepreneurial without having to beg permission, rather than some sort of forced wealth redistribution program. We're on the way here. This is Free Talk Live. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. 
the Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated. So send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss. A once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Coming up, young man is in trouble for having a BB gun in his car parked off the school campus. We can tell you more about that and what's happening to him. You can also bring up whatever's on your mind, whether it's a comment on a sort of this esoteric discussion about consciousness and uh, being more aware of yourself and making uh, deliberate choices in life. Or we can talk about you know ridiculous zero tolerance stories. You're welcome to share whatever you want here at 855 450 free. Coming up, the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I uh, did the counting, Mark. We are now five weeks away from the kickoff of the 2014, the 11th annual Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's known as Porkfest for short. You can go to porkfest.com, P O R C F E S T.com. And I guess they just announced a big, big, big name speaker for people in the liberty community, Nick Gillespie from oh. Reason.com and Reason.tv. Nick will be one of the keynote speakers at the Porcupine Freedom Festival this year. So very exciting. Uh, we are going to be broadcasting live. And, Mark, there's something for everybody at Porkfest, right? Right. There's family events, lots of speeches, uh, of course, mini parties going on, folks having a great time. It's a camping event. There's uh, shoots, um, uh, hikes, everything you can imagine. Everything from, uh, you know, hippie peace flag things going on to your most rugged outdoors folks. 
Now, they had said, I believe, that the price was supposed to go up today. It has not yet gone up. Uh, so if you've been trying, if you've been thinking about getting the tickets to Porkfest and you've been putting it off and putting it off, probably should go tonight to Porkfest.com because they could change this at any moment. Like it, it may just be that their web web admin has been slacking today and he hasn't pulled the switch. So you can still get the Porkfest tickets for 60 bucks for the entire week at Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. And then that's also where you can register for some of the other additional uh, courses that are going to be going on there. So, for instance, there's actually one where you can build your own AR-15. Now, you have to pay extra for that because you walk away with an AR-15 uh, when you're done with that course. So that's a $675 upcharge on that one. But there's some very uh, unique courses going on here. Knitting 101, you can have that one for $17. Bucks. And Lock Picking 101, where I presume you may end up uh, walking away with a lock pick set, which is very interesting. Interesting. So uh, Porkfest.com, there's much more there. Go and check it out when you get a chance. And we'll see you there because we're broadcasting live. Benjamin is on the line in California. You're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hello, Benjamin. Hello. Uh, last night, Ian, uh, you and your co-host were discussing net neutrality, um, but it sounded a little bit to me, at least, uh, that you guys were off on what it was, uh, necessarily. Okay. Um, what is it? Oh, I wasn't even here. There are a lot of buzz. With it. You know, net neutrality is this buzzword that has gone on around, you know, the internet and in mainstream media, but I imagine there are a lot of people that don't understand it. So, uh, go ahead oh, and take a crack yeah. at it. No, okay, so net neutrality has to do with whether or not your internet service provider is allowed to uh, basically throttle and determine what's allowed to come into, into your home uh, that you're asking for. Um, the best analogy I've heard so far is that imagine you order something online and you want it delivered and you have UPS or FedEx or whoever, and they're supposed to deliver it to you. But... UPS or FedEx, they see all these packages coming from Amazon.com and they go, yeah, well, we'd rather you use this other internet retailer because we have a financial stake in who they are. So even though you paid for two days shipping, you paid for uh, fast shipping, we're going to slow it down and let it take up to a week for it to get to you. Uh, you can, of course, just use our service and we won't do anything about it. Uh, and that's kind of what the internet service providers are doing. Of course, the internet service providers are also going to uh, Amazon, for instance, and saying, hey, look, uh, we noticed you guys do a lot of business and we'd love to give your customers what they pay for because generally when you sign up, you pay for a, a certain amount of bandwidth. And they go, how about you pay us extra money since your web website's really popular? And so they're going to be getting money from both sides if net neutrality goes away. The idea was... Well, okay, so what I defined net neutrality as last night was the idea of the these companies not being able to throttle. So wouldn't that be an accurate definition of net neutrality, that they're just supposed to hands-off, just deliver the, the packets? They're supposed to be hands-off, but specifically what they want to do is throttle specific services and almost ransom to them, hey, we'll unthrottle your service so that you can uh, go ahead and do what you're doing. So, the, I, uh, right, I don't, maybe I, we miscommunicated, but I, th I thought that's what we communicated last night about net neutrality. So I'm, gl I'm glad you called again, though, to put it out there for those who might just be tuning in. I have some concerns with what you're saying. So, it, now, your analogy about the, uh, the, the shipping companies isn't quite accurate. It doesn't hold, I guess, to this, because in the case of the shipping company, you're paying the shipper is paying for a certain level of service and so what you're saying not is not getting it right and then you're saying they wouldn't be giving that so they'd be in violation of their own contract in this case you're talking about internet speeds delivery of packets over the internet and you, are you saying that you oppose a business's ability to determine how their bandwidth is allocated they're supposed to provide you with a certain amount of bandwidth that's true them being them being able to, to go yeah, we'd love to do that, but we're going to throttle specific services because we'd rather use our service. Mm -hmm. It's it's less that they're um, throttling specific services and more that they're allocating bandwidth to uh, specific services. So it's the ones that paid that have been allocated bandwidth and the ones that haven't, which is the vast majority of them that have um, that are 
it's not that they're getting throttled. It's just that they're getting less. Well, so now, effectively on. Let's throttled. say it is true. Let's say that they throttled. are throttling uh, certain websites, like you know, putting YouTube at uh, half a megabit a second, whereas Netflix will be a full five megabits, uh, you know, ten times faster. Okay. Let's say they are doing that. What it sounds like, what you're saying here is that the, all these people that are so afraid of uh, companies being able to make decisions like this. Seems like believe, they believe that all the internet companies are a, a part of a cartel and that they're all part of this plot to charge people more for bandwidth. And it seems to me that in a lot of cases when you have a cartel, if there is such a thing, and I don't know if there is, it seems like a lot of fear-mongering to me, but if there is that cartel, that somebody's going to break the cartel because customers want speed on the internet. But people don't want slow internet. They want fast internet. And if they find out that Comcast or, uh, or you know Verizon or T-Mobile or whoever it is, is restricting their internet and they have another choice, they're going to use that other choice. So are you saying that you believe all internet providers are going to start throttling and they're going to create a cartel? The, the problem is in most areas, the way it's been set up is that most people only have really one choice as far as a high-speed internet service provider. They don't even get the choice of UPS or FedEx. They really only get one because of deals that have been made. When you say in most areas, do you mean rural America? Just most areas. Uh, if you want high-speed I don't believe internet, it. I don't believe it cable, for a moment. Cable and DSL most places, right? Most places yep. you have at the very least cable and DSL, but you also have 4G providers as well, and there are multiple 4G providers in most urban areas. Uh, well, 4G isn't uh, super fast. 4G, yeah. you can get 20 megabits down, no problem. I've seen it happen. You you can, but if more people were using it for all their internet needs, they would That's weren't. the same. I, the same thing's true about I, uh, the the cable I, modem I connection. I tend to agree with you as far as um, uh, the free market will find a way, and I think the free market will figure out a way around all this. But I think people should be angry. Imagine if whoever your phone provider was was going ahead and throttling your connection when you're making phone calls. And they were like, yeah, we'd love for you to call Walmart, uh, but it's going to take an extra five But that's five ridiculous. They're not going to throttle you're... a phone uh, connection because and, no one and, would use their service. Right, and that's what they're going to be doing or wanting to do right now with the internet they want is to be there actually stuff. evidence that they want to do that or are doing that or is it just a bunch they, of paranoia no, they are. Uh, Netflix is paying, I think it's Comcast, a bunch of extra money for their service not to be throttled right now. Okay, but if I'm on Comcast, are you saying it's going to be too slow for me to watch YouTube? I don't know. I've never heard of anybody saying that's I the case. I can't wait till Google, Glass, Google, Google Fiber comes in because Absolutely. that'll just blow uh, this crap out the of ruling, the water. The ruling one way or the other should be in the next couple of weeks. All right, Benjamin, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. You can take control here at 855-450 free. Color me unconcerned about this issue. It's free talk live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, Call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Americans have always been ready to defend, to serve, and to honor those who defended and are defending all of us. So this month, the Freeze-Dry Guy honors and serves Americans with our meat, rice, and potato sale. Our unit includes four number 10 cans of quality Mountain House cooked diced beef, ground beef, diced chicken, white rice, and two cans of FDG dehydrated diced potatoes. 158 servings per case unit. And during the Freeze-Dry Guy's meat, rice, and potato sale, get one case for only $179. Two cases for only $3 
or get three cases for only $5.15 and all come with lots of valuable freebies. For details, click freezedryguy.com and hurry. Sale ends soon. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Plus, free shipping to the lower 48 states from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the Realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition, and we will allow you to take control of the airwaves and dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online, freetalklive.com is where you go to get interactive with other Free Talk Live listeners. And you can also uh, you can follow us in various different ways in the social media world. There's Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And also, we've, we've still got email. You can sign up for our email list, as a matter of fact. Just go to news.freetalklive.com to I'm do that. giving away a set of four um, Michael Z. Williamson books uh, starting next week. It will be, uh, you know, and, and the only way you're going to be able to win is through our email list. So if you go to news.freetalklive.com and sign up for the email list, mm. you'll be on rel- a relatively short list. There's not going to be that many people because oftentimes when I do these uh, text campaigns, um, you know, it's a couple hundred people that, that do it, and I'll, I'll be giving away five sets. So pretty good chance of, of winning these uh, great hard bu- hardcover books. You can't win if you don't enter, and you have to go to sign up for the email list at news.freetalklive.com. you find the sign-up box there. And sometimes we do giveaways on our Facebook page as well, so you want to link over to that and hit the like button, and then hover over like, select get notifications. So it takes an extra moment to make sure you see what Free Talk Live posts because Facebook hates allowing you to actually see what we post. And anybody who has a page on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So, again, go to news.freetalklive.com. As well, we go- and re- really, you have to interact with the page. The more you interact with the page, then the then more it knows likely, you like yeah. us. Yeah. All right. So then we go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Still to come, the student who's in trouble for a BB gun in his car that wasn't even parked on campus. We go to Jeff listening to WVTS in West Virginia first, though. Jeff, you're on Free Talk Live's Live Saturday show. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to discuss a little bit. I think it was Thursday night that you guys were uh, discussing the uh, uh, run liquor stores as opposed to the 
ones that are run by the entrepreneurs. Yeah, state-run right. liquor versus privately-run liquor stores, or beer and wine as well. Yeah. Now, what I wanted to say to you, in West Virginia, we don't have a state-run liquor store. It's all done in the drug stores, and all they do is just you just have to show your ID, and when you do, it uh, puts your birth date in, and they give it to you. And far as I'm concerned, that works great. And if the parents want to take it home, it's their choice to let their teenagers drink. If they drink it in their house, it should I be. think it's their business. I agree. It should be a parent's choice to allow their teenagers uh, or children to sample alcohol and or drink alcohol. I think that's totally a family decision, and it's uh, it's uh, shameful that parents get in trouble for allowing teenagers to uh, to experiment. Yeah, you know, and I think they, you know, what makes sense to me is maybe some wine or beer, you know, wine with dinner, or beer with a pizza, or something like that. Um, you know, I I don't know, I don't understand the idea of thirteen year olds sitting around with dad knocking back uh, shots, but it's not my family either. <laughs> Jeff, anything yeah, else? You, I, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, I, I think that the uh, parents should have more control over the kids. The government's got too much control with the government schools, and that's ridiculous. And I just, for freedom, I don't like this stuff. And, um, you know what, and you guys are here on the radio. You're on Monday through Friday from nine o'clock to ten o'clock. Yeah, that's right. In uh, West and Virginia, and then you're there. on Saturday from um, seven to ten. That's that's but, true. Only in Charleston, good. West Virginia. Other stations, we got about 140, uh, actually 150 now. 150 radio stations coast to coast. Anybody that wants to uh, to get an up to date timing as far as when are we on? When can you tune into Free Talk Live locally? You can just go to affiliates.freetalklive.com. And Jeff, thanks for your call tonight. Glad you uh, are enjoying the program and appreciate the input. Uh, here at 855 450 free. I totally agree. I think that uh, the idea that parents sh- should be facing some sort of legal consequence for raising their children in the way that they think is appropriate is absolutely outrageous. I mean, look, the reality is teenagers are going to acquire alcohol. And right, it doesn't this is matter. Specifically, <laughs> you know, I, I get why people get all nervous about people being able to raise their kids any way they want. I understand. But specifically alcohol, it, it pretty much a no-brainer. I don't know what the percentage of people in the United States that never consume alcohol is, but I'm going to guess it's in the low single digits. Okay. So therefore, we're talking about a ubiquitous topic. The vast majority of people uh, drink alcohol, and I would bet the vast majority of those people drink alcohol before their 21st birthday. I bet the majority of cops... The supermajority of cops have done that very same thing. Indeed. So what you have is a situation like I had in high school, and I don't know about you, Ian, but probably the same thing, and probably the vast majority of people are listening to me, where instead of a parent teaching a child to consume alcohol, which is this important topic, whether you like it or not, it's important, um, a parent teaching them how to do it, you have a pimply-faced teenager <laughs> yeah. who's completely unqualified. These same people that think that you can't get pregnant if you have sex standing up or, yeah. you know, like a whole variety of nonsense that they believe. These are the people that you're going to leave the uh, the lesson of alcohol consumption to? That's stupid. You can share your thoughts on this matter. Maybe you are a parent and you disagree. Would love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. James is in Paradise, Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. James. Yes, I imagine that uh, Officer Chuck Dinwiddie's uh, family is in a living hell today as they witness him lay to rest in a casket. Who? Who is and, this? Uh, the one that your caller Tom made a joke about getting finally being finally finished off by a drug pusher. You're talking about uh, a call that happened a few days ago now here on Free Talk Live. Right. There's uh, tens, right. tens of thousands, actually, if not hundreds of thousands of people that are listening to this show right now uh, that don't know what you're talking about. So what you're talking about, and I'm going to reset this for you. Wit. I'm going to reset this. Right, so I'm just put him on hold. Go ahead. So what happened is, is that a uh, police officer was killed in a, uh, I guess a, a drug raid or something like that. And don't know yet. I don't think that, you're talking about the New Hampshire one. Uh, this was the one down in Texas. Oh, in Texas. Okay. So, there you go. 
another cop was killed in New Hampshire and there was some sort of an the argument. Drug, the drug war is dangerous for law enforcement officers as it is for anybody else. So James wanted to comment on that. Go ahead, James. He was murdered in the line of duty. And Ian, you got a great laugh out of Tom's joke about him being murdered in the line of duty as if he had it coming because he's on the wrong side of the drug war that he doesn't support. And therefore, uh, and you both got a great laugh. And I just wanted to link that with my call yesterday, Mark, for the benefit of your audience. I, uh, uh, Ian called my God a terrible God. Um, but I don't think Ian's Yeah, that's right. We were talking about the Old Testament God. May I finish? May I no, finish? you may not, because I want to have a response to what you said, just so our listeners know what you're talking yeah, about, because you love my... to talk about things that happened on previous shows. So we were talking last night, you weren't here either, Mark, uh, about uh, the New Testament God versus the Old Testament God, that uh, they seem to be very, very different Kind Beings. of gods, and uh, the the one in the older testament, the Old Testament is a, is kind of a nasty god. He drowned every almost every bit of the earth apparently during the whole Noah situation, and that's what James is talking about there. Go ahead, James, your last chance. Very good that you reiterated a question that you posed to your audience after you dumped my call, and I'm wondering if you've ever uh, cr crossed your very deeply thoughtful mind to ask your Muslim friend Dobby Barker, how he uh, reconciles the, the God of the Old Testament, of which she believes in as well as I do. I don't believe in the God of the Koran. I don't call him Allah. I call him Jesus. And yes, they're the same God to a Christian and a Jewish person, and even to a Muslim. So why don't you ask Dobby Barker that question? And next time you want to ask the question? me a question, I don't know what you're talking don't about. Dump my call. Well, you're. You didn't know how one could reconcile the ideology, as a objectivist girl called it, I think, uh, of Jesus in the Old Testament versus the New Testament. Jesus came. I wasn't talking about Jesus. We we're talking about God. I mean, pay attention, James. Thanks You're for the call. call. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can bring up anything you want. It's always such a joy. <laughs> Oh, man, he is just so obsessed with things that have happened on previous shows. And uh, if he keeps doing that, if he keeps calling and bringing up things that have happened previously, we just, we're going to have to interrupt him and just put him on hold so we can explain what has happened on previous episodes. Right, he doesn't even want you to live. explain. Like, it, like uh, he's bad at, um, at resetting, and then we don't, but if we do it, we're evil people. Not I everybody has time, uh, you know, James, to listen to every single minute of Free Talk Live. We sure do appreciate you and others who do listen to every minute of Free Talk Live, thank you for that dedication. Our advertisers appreciate it as well. Uh, but many people, you know, they just listen while they're driving to work on the radio, and they have no clue what you're talking about. 855-450 free. More continuing in Hour 2 next. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Temporarily from Tampa, Florida, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, May 17th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $450. According to Russian Energy Minister Alexander Novak, Ukraine's interim government may have lost the long-standing natural gas discount they were getting from Russia in the past, but negotiations for a new one are possible. According to Novak, the Russian government is willing to discuss a new price discount provided Ukraine actually starts making good on its payments for gas delivered under the old discount program through April 1st. That's $2.237 billion in back payments just to get them current through the 1st of April and reflects how long it's actually been since Ukraine was paying for its gas no matter what price was being charged on paper. Russian officials announced earlier in the week that Gazprom, the world's largest natural gas company, will insist on upfront payments before any future deliveries to Ukraine. Though this makes sense on the surface, the situation is more complicated than that. That's because a lot of Russia's paying customers are in Central Europe, and gas goes through the pipeline into Ukraine. Cutting off gas to Ukraine risks them trying to siphon off those supplies or making shipments to Europe completely impossible. It's the desire to protect those markets that has Russia interested in cutting a deal with Ukraine, though with the interim government so far unwilling to pay its bills, a deal may be hard to broker. You've heard of ShinyBadges.com, but you need to check out the New Causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy liberty project like the Free Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. So go to ShinyBadges.com, click on the New Causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at ShinyBadges.com. Politico reports, in an unprecedented ruling, a federal judge has temporarily blocked the U.S. military from force-feeding a prisoner at Guantanamo Bay who has been on a hunger strike. U.S. District Court Judge Gladys Kessler issued an order Friday afternoon preventing the military from force-feeding Syrian national Abu Wael Dihad until a hearing set for next Wednesday on a legal petition he filed seeking to permanently bar so-called internal feedings. Kessler's order also prohibits authorities at the island prison from using force to move Dihab out of his cell to receive nutrition, a practice used when prisoners refuse to comply with demands to submit to feedings. Kessler wrote in her order, Respondents are temporarily restrained from any forcible cell extractions of petitioner for purposes of internal feedings and any internal feeding of petitioner until May 21st, 2014. Pentagon spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Todd Brussell said Guantanamo officials will abide by the direction. You've heard of ShinyBadges.com, but you need to check out the New Causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy liberty project like the Free Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. So go to ShinyBadges.com, click on the New Causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at ShinyBadges.com. Ballot Access News reports, on May 15th, a five-party debate was held in Brussels, Belgium, for candidates who seek the presidency of the European Commission. European Parliament elections are being held May 22nd through the 25th. 
Voters in European countries that are part of the European Commission do not actually vote for the president of the commission. Instead, the European Council nominates candidates for president, and then the parliament chooses the president. However, the most important coalitions of political parties have already chosen their preferred presidential designate, and these are the five individuals who participated in the debate. The coalition of conservative political parties did not choose a preferred presidential candidate, so it had no voice in the debate. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. You're putting your name, address, credit card number, social security number, all that, you're just chucking it right up onto the internet where any disgusting degenerate can grab it? The only way to make sure that your identity is never stolen is to change it every three years. That's what I do. Two years ago, I was Ellen Foxcroft, attorney at law. Three years before that, I was Trish Homingwood, patient at the Austin State Psychiatric Hospital. And three years before that, I was Regina Dupree, lead singer of the soul group Derriere. And you know what? None of my identities has ever been stolen. So to make sure that your personal information stays safe, you gotta follow some simple steps. First, you're gonna need new pieces of identification, right? But don't worry, old Shelby knows a guy up in Detroit can fix these up pronto, real cheap. Next, you're gonna have to fake your own death. But all that takes is a mold of your teeth, a corpse, and a $500 used car for setting on fire. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves. Toll free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to connect with us in either way, whatever it is that pleases you. We also have a website, and hopefully you'll enjoy the features there. The main feature actually allows you to control the content of the site, so you can submit content. So maybe that's a link to a blog post you like somewhere or a news post somewhere or a YouTube video, whatever it is that you think is interesting. It can be fun. It can be outrageous, exciting, newsy. Uh, you submit it there, and then our listeners, everyone else, can vote on it. You vote up for something you like, and you can vote down things that you don't. Over at freetalklive.com, you do have to have a Reddit account. That's free. Our Free Talk Live account is free. You link them together in a very simple process, and then it makes it easy for you to interact with the website and the other listeners there at freetalklive.com. Uh, so uh, let's get into the story that I teased at the very beginning of the show. We never actually got into it because we just jumped right into the phone calls. Which we do here on Free Talk Live. KWWL reporting in the Dubuque, Iowa area. Original story. Now, there's been an update on this original story. I want to share the original one with you first. A student at Dubuque Senior High School is suspended following the discovery Wednesday of a BB gun in a student's car, which was parked off campus in a nearby neighborhood. Dubuque Community School District Director of School and Community Relations. That's a long title. Mike Siz said in a press release, a parent noticed the BB pistol in the student's car and called police who responded, located the student, and confiscated the BB gun. Now, I, one thing I've got to say, I don't know, this is a pistol, is that right? BB pistol, presumably, yeah, it does yeah. say pistol. So these BB pistols look realistic. Mm -hmm. There's no red tip on them or anything like that. So I, I, That's because they actually shoot something. Yep. And a good portion of the world is, uh, of, of, the, of the United States, is petrified of firearms. Now, I don't think your firearm should, it's, it's a bad idea to leave a firearm just sort of out and visible in a car anyway, because these things are valuable and people will break windows to get them. Absolutely true. And if you leave something that looks remarkably like a firearm, it may, it may be completely inert. Um, it may very well cause somebody to break the window and, and get it. The incident is an important reminder that the school district and area law enforcement do not take the presence of these weapons lightly, said Dubuque Senior High School Principal Dan Johnson in par uh, to parents in an email and voicemail that went out to the families that morning. KWWL questioned why a student would be suspended if the car and BB gun were both off school property. Sis provided the following explanation. This is the uh, cop community relations bureaucrat. Quote, this morning's incident occurred adjacent to campus during arrival time while other students were present, Sis said. 
Police responded to the location of the vehicle as well as to senior high school at the time not knowing what, if any, threat may have existed. Given this, there was a significant disruption to the learning environment and having the student on campus would have continued that disruption throughout the day. Now, hold on a second. Who was it that disrupted the environment for learning in this story? Sounds like the government bureaucrats did. Right, because he left the gun in his car. Mm. So it wasn't like he brought the BB gun to school and was shown it off. It wasn't like he was, you know, plinking at some cans on the, uh, on the, you know, the track and field or something like that. It wasn't like he had the gun in any way to show off to people, which would have caused a buzz. People would have snitched him out for that. So it was when the police showed up and made a scene that education was disrupted if any education was actually going on that day. Well, so often government is treated like a force of nature. And the people that are involved in government, which is all government is, people, um, they're not held to any standard. They don't have any responsibility for their action. You know, obviously, if they find a handgun in an unoccupied, or, you know, a BB gun or whatever it is, in an unoccupied car, they've got to do, you know, go, go crazy. And... I think it really just depends where you are as to how big of a deal this is. So I swear, kids came to school at my school with guns in their gun racks and their pickup trucks. Mm. Um, wow. And that was not that long ago. I, you know, maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I don't know. But I can tell you that uh, I've got a next door neighbor. He talks about how he used to go to school. He'd carry his rifle with him. Mm. To, you know, he's an older man to be able to shoot dinner. Um, either on the way these stories, or right? on the way back, and they had a just they had a place in the the mud room for them to put their rifles. It is the district's practice to suspend students involved in similar instances while the investigation is conducted by police and administrators, and the facts can be determined. Disciplinary action, if any, is based upon the results of that investigation. They sent out an email, and they actually give you a copy of that. But there is an update on the story from the same station, KWWL. They say that apparently uh, they will not be disciplining the student, which seems kind of contradictory, right? Because he was already suspended from school for a day over this. But yet, on the other hand, they're claiming that they're not going to discipline him. This according to the Dubuque Community School District Director of School and Community Relations, Mike Siz. He said, Would it make they'll... you feel better if they, if they called this being sent home as opposed to a suspension? Siz said the one-day suspension that happened was never a disciplinary action. That's just standard procedure during an investigation. Nothing, not even the suspension, will go on the student's permanent record. Permanent record. You know, I'd love to hear about this permanent record. Like, this thing matters. On Wednesday, the parent notified, or not, they talk about this story again here, and then they actually say that they've gotten multiple calls. So they the story was reported originally... And according to Lieutenant Scott Baxter of the Dubuque, Dubuque Police Department, they, uh, they received multiple calls from all over the country. The story is apparently gaining national attention in regard to how the, the school district handled it and how we handled it, said Lieutenant Baxter. Student safety is the top priority for both of us all the time. The school district acted within their policies and procedures, and we acted within our policies and procedures, the Constitution in this case. We understand. They're claiming this was constitutional. That's what they're saying. We understand. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Mm. That's what I hear. Well, he wasn't keeping or bearing it. It was in his car, apparently, at, the, at that point. So maybe you don't have any rights to things that are That's in your car. That's keeping it. Uh, we understand the Second Amendment, he says, and how important that is to people. We understand some of the concerns that people felt, and maybe that we or the school overstepped our boundaries, but we feel the exact opposite. We responded accordingly, and with the top priority being student safety. We feel that in this case, it could have been a potentially deadly situation. Really? A BB gun. Well, whether it's a BB gun or not, they wouldn't necessarily know that. How are you going to that. kill someone with a, gun with, that you a BB gun. with a gun that you don't possess, I think is really well, that the, too. the biggest issue here. We have this individual scene. Yeah, it, says, it says, we have this individual's scene brandishing a weapon right across the street from a high school and within a few hundred feet of the college. So we have potentially 1,600 high school students and how many thousand college students in that immediate area. This gun looks realistic. We have no reason to believe it is not real. Given what has happened in this country in the last 20 or 30 years with active killer situations, mass killings, we can't afford to treat these situations lightly, to fail to respond, and then have something happen. So um, w there have been plenty of people called uh, called on for brandishing things with little red tips on them, you know, toys with red tips on them. 
you know, I I just don't know where uh, where the line is supposed to be. It's it's a really unwise thing to go, you know, slinging a handgun around. And these BB guns look for all the world like them, but the airsoft guns looked like them too, except yeah. for the red tip. And uh, we, we've had people called for Nerf guns. You know, it just it it's it's a crazy world out there, and I don't know. You know where the right and the wrong is on this because I do think that police are held to a standard. You know where were the police in this instance is always the question when something bad happens. Lieutenant Baxter said also there is a city ordinance in place which considers BB guns as weapons. He now says this is crazy. I mean, when I was 1981, maybe 82 is thereabouts. I was 12 years old. I think is when I got my first mm-hmm. BB gun. And Sounds about the right age for that. Yeah. Me and my uh, my friend John, we would uh, go around. This is a residential neighborhood uh, in Florida. Nothing bananas. We'd go around and, uh, you know. You chase each other, right? Well, stuff. we wouldn't shoot each other. No, we'd okay. shoot, uh, you know, we were. We'd shoot, shoot lizards and stuff. Dra- lizards, dragonflies, yeah. and we're terror on anything that. Uh, Little boys love doing that stuff. You know, cardboard and tin cans and a variety of things. So uh, he goes on to say that it's not necessarily illegal to possess the BB guns or shoot them in some cases, but you have to fall within the ordinance guidelines. And in this particular case, that didn't happen. So according to the story, the BB gun is considered a weapon by police. And so Baxter said the police department has the right to confiscate the weapon until the court case is completely processed. Oh, yes, that's right. There's a court case here. The very last line in the story. If you don't read all the way to the end, you don't know that, yes, this young man will be facing a misdemeanor charge for weapons possession because of this. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Prim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained AngioPrim consultant. Call AngioPrim toll-free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. AngioPrim.com. That's AngioPrim.com. Find out how AngioPrim can work for you. Get the facts about AngioPrim at AngioPrim.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest Liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts here. Bring up whatever you want, though we are talking about another ludicrous example of zero tolerance where a young man is in trouble. He's facing a misdemeanor charge. For possession of a weapon. What's the weapon? A BB gun. Where was it? In his car. Off of school campus. So uh, we'll tell you more about that. You can share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. You can also join us via Skype. Our Skype username is LRN.FM. And I want you to know about ShinyBadges.com. If you've been listening to Free Talk Live for a while, whether it's live or uh, via podcast, you probably have heard the Shiny Badges jingle. It is very catchy. And maybe you haven't yet gone. Go to shinybadges.com to check out their new causes tab. I mean, Shiny Badges has always had a great product, but now there's an extra reason to check it out and buy a Shiny Badge. There's going to be, when you buy, for instance, the Silk Road pin, a portion of the purchase price will be donated to the Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. When you buy the Cop Block Badge, uh, it'll benefit Cop Block. The anonymous pin benefits Electronic Frontier Foundation. So there are more. Go and check out the uh, the causes tab at shinybadges.com and get yourself some quality Liberty products that can start a conversation with your neighbors and support the causes you believe in. Plus, you get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at shinybadges.com. Let's go to the phones to the fun. We've got Charlie on the line. He's listening in Nashville. Charlie, you're on Free Talk Live with the and Mark. Hi there. This thing you're just talking about, Mr. Vance. I can't, I, I, mean, I can't believe so much stupidity going on out here when you people like that. But what the the kid, I hope the kid learns a lesson. Is that, I don't know if cars, uh, I haven't had one for a while. I don't know if he even got glove compartments anymore like they used to have. But uh, if they do, he needs to, if he's going to have something like that again, although he won't get that one back because one of the cops will keep it for himself, But as they always do. But anyway, the next time he ought to put it, and the glove compartment, keep it out of sight. And when I had guns, I had long guns once, kept them in my trunk, and a 25 auto kept it up in my shirt pocket. But I had a friend of mine, oh, he was really smart. For his windows, he installed one-way mirrors all the way around and had them <laughs> sun in it. Well, so in a lot of places, you can't get right away now. with putting one-way mirrors in as windows. But yeah, that might have been back in the day. <laughs> interesting idea. Charlie, thanks for your call tonight. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, his idea sounds okay on the on its face, right? Like, this, this young man got in trouble at school because he left a gun out in his car. The car was parked off campus, but somebody snitched him out. Some concerned person called the police, and they ended up taking him out of school. He got suspended for a day. Now he's facing a misdemeanor criminal charge. Certainly, had his gun been in the glove box, this probably never would have happened. But if you have a gun in your glove box, what, whatever kind of gun it is, keep in mind that you shouldn't have anything else you need in that glove box. So if you get pulled over and you have to go for a registration, for instance, many people will keep that in the glove box as well. And let me tell you, if you go for a, a registration with a cop sitting at the window, you pull that glove box open and that cop spies that gun in there. It's going to be a bad day. That cop could very well draw down on you. That cop could very well shoot you. At the very least, you may end up with a weapons charge and or just an angry cop. 
So I would recommend if you're going to keep a gun in a glove box, do not keep the registration in the same place. Keep it in your center console uh, or, you know, vice versa. Keep the gun in some sort of a lock box on the floor and the passenger side versus wherever it is something else you need is. And, well, I believe that in many states you're legally obliged to, uh, if you know, if it's a firearm to uh -huh. advise, you know, this, this is a BB gun and it is not a firearm. If you're a concealed weapons permit holder in a lot of states, is my understanding. I don't know if you're just legally obliged, period. Maybe you are. Either way, if you are legally obliged... If the law says you're supposed to tell a cop about having a gun and you don't have a concealed weapons permit, you probably shouldn't tell the cop about that. If there's something that That's looks, not legal advice, just a suggestion. If there's something that looks like a gun in your glove compartment next to your registration and proof of insurance and yeah. you know the whole thing, you probably should just go ahead and let the officer know before you go in that glove box. That's what I'm saying. If something looks like a gun, but is not in point of fact, whatever a gun. it is, like let's you know let's let's have this conversation before. Everything goes uh, pear shaped. Here. Let's go to Lewis in our very own Keene, New Hampshire, listening to WKBK. Hey, Lewis. Hi. Yeah. No, I'm just calling because whenever you have zero tolerance like this, it goes to absolutely extreme, paranoid extremes. Like, for instance, uh, like this case, there was a young boy in Texas who literally just took his fingers and went. Yep. And he was suspended from school for criminal threatening. They there's, charged this elementary school kid. There's more than one instance like this. Yes, there was one in Virginia where a little boy in art class drew a picture of a gun. And he was, uh, it was in Virginia, I think. And the same thing, they suspended him and sent him home. Uh, there's one with a pop tart. Know, they said he was violent. Yep. There's know. there's one with a pop tart. The kid uh, bit the pop tart into the shape of a gun and then brandished it all about the classroom. Right. And then what happens is now what you're going to do is you're going to make these kids paranoid. I mean, how psychologically damaging is it for a kid, you know, to be doing something harmless like that and be sent home? It also Most sounds like the. the the, the fruit of the forbidden tree. Oh, well, this sounds like something we got to try out. Well, actually, too, like I mean, when you look at what tree. they're doing with the schools now, I mean, the, they've decided that you have to protect the kids from everything. And you have now uh, school sports uh, down in Connecticut. Where everybody gets trophy for showing up because it's too traumatic for the kids to lose. <laughs> There are, there are school systems that are banning proms because, or really? if they have proms, they're not letting you ask dates. Everybody goes stag because it's too traumatic to be turned down for a date. Wow, I haven't heard about and, that one. Yeah, and then, of course, there's killer dodgeball. They're banning the dodgeball because it's too violent. Yeah, this is when you've that gone much. too far. When you're when you're messing right. with the dodgeball, because that was the most fun that I had in all of school was the ability to peg my friends across the uh, the, the basketball court in playing <laughs> dodgeball. But also all of these things like the sports and the the prom, you know, not uh, you know, these things. This is how kids learn to deal with frustration. You learn that you, if uh, something goes wrong, you you know uh, you learn to cope with it. And when they take this away from the kids, then what happens is they get out into the real world and they experience failure and they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah, like that school shooting they had in Connecticut. Uh, again, this kid went out after being protected from all of this frustration and went to go live with some family in another state and had trouble finding a job. He couldn't deal with the frustration, went back, to got his mother's gun, and went in an open fire. This kid never learned to deal with the frustration. Maybe if the schools had let everything take its course, you know, you, you deal with the bullies yourself, you, you know, uh, okay, you get beamed with the dodgeball. Well, pick up the ball and hit somebody else with it. Don't ban the thing. And then they we're raising we're probably going to be raising a generation of serial killers. <laughs> Lewis, I really appreciate the uh, to, I appreciate your call. They don't know how to deal with the frustration. 
I, I'm with you, man, and I, I think there's a lot of problems with government schools, and you've certainly gone over a number of them. I appreciate hearing from you. Thanks for the call tonight, Lewis. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. That is brought to you by ProXPN, and we'll tell you about that coming up here in a moment. You can take control of these airwaves. Your thoughts on zero tolerance, the guy with a BB gun in his car off of school campus. How far do their powers extend anyway? It's Free Talk Live. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER over 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with supernatural silver. Coplock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to fill. That's why we're happy to announce the accountability through transparency video contest the winner of which will receive a pair of pivot head sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivot head. One, document with a camera, a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. Two, upload your video to your YouTube channel. Three, fill out the form at cutblock.org slash pivot head by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23rd, 2014. Four, the winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the Pivot Head sunglasses will be shipped once the mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash Pivot Head. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, and this is the live Saturday edition of the program. You may dial toll-free here to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. 
That toll-free number is brought to you by ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, ProXPN is something you really need to have. And you can get it for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. If you're a Linux user uh, or alternative, some sort of alternative operating system user, there are options for you. The setup's a little bit different. You can get in touch with ProXPN through their support department to help you out with that. But most everybody can use ProXPN. And right now, if you're not using ProXPN, well, you should be concerned because your internet service provider is probably logging every website that you visit, every search term that you enter, and keeping those logs for up to five years. You can stop that from happening. By going to proxpn.com slash FTL, get started with ProXPN. There's a free account. You can just give it a try and see how it works out for you. But uh, the free account is limited in that you cannot do private torrenting. You cannot select your server that you want. You cannot. Uh, you don't also have uh, unlimited bandwidth with the free account. But if you upgrade to premium, you get all that. Unlimited bandwidth, different servers around the world to connect to, and more. Just go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Use our discount code when you're ready to upgrade to premium. The code is FTL20. That means 20% off for the lifetime of your account. That's FTL20 to save 20%. And you'll save even more, actually. Uh, if you're buying the annual plan, you can pay that in Bitcoin. And you'll save even more that way. If you're just using the regular discount code with the credit card, then you can get the price down to 5 bucks a month, which is a shockingly low price for the amount of privacy protection that you're going to get from ProXPN.com slash FTL, promo code FTL20. There's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee with ProXPN.com slash FTL. Let's go to Dana in Virginia Beach listening to WNIS. Hello, Dana. Good evening. Hey. <clears throat> What's on your well, mind tonight? The reason I called, well, this issue with the uh, student that was charged with his BB gun, um, I'm retired. Um, police officer and school resource officer and dealing with the kids on a daily basis, and you get worried about something like this where an individual has a weapon in his, gun, in his car like that. He's off school property, but in, I'll use Virginia Beach, for example, he's under what's called the Code of Conduct, which they start, which him and his parents would sign at the beginning of the school year that covers them from doorstep to doorstep. So te technically, when he walks out of his house, he's under the Code of Conduct under the school division's rules and regulations. Now, is this now, just when he steps out of the house to go to school, or what if he right. returns home, um, steps into the house, and then steps out and does something, you know, untoward? Right, right. He, as soon as he steps out of his house, let's say he has to be in high school at 720, he leaves at 655. When he steps out of the house, he's under, because a, a school bus stop, even though it's on a city corner, is under the school code of conduct. Yeah, I'm aware of that. So I'm kind of curious. In this case, he parked off campus. It makes me think he's, you know, lives close to campus, uh, perhaps. And then, you know, at that point, he could Maybe very he well. Maybe he knew he had a gun in his car and didn't want to park on campus. It could be that too. That that's true, and probably he didn't have a, a, a parking permit to, to park in the school in the school lot. A lot of kids would do that. Uh, Dana, uh, I've got a question for you about the code of conduct. So, and you may not uh, know the answer to this as just a school resource okay. officer. This may not have been, you know, your area of expertise, but I've got you here. So I'm oh, yeah, ask. we read it. We read it. Uh, we so, read it. Okay, but the question is, so you're saying the student and the parents have to sign this code of conduct prior to the school year. What if, right. what if the student does not sign it? It's interesting. They can't, the school can actually take action saying you can't attend our schools until that is done. It's a requirement. Would Now, in a lot of places, school attendance is compulsory, meaning that if right. somebody right. is uh, not attending schools, a young person is not attending schools, that they could go right. after the parents or whoever the guardians are of that young person and charge them criminally. Exactly. So right. if neither the parents nor the student agree to the code of conduct, then the school rejects the student's to be allowed to go to school there, can there then be a prosecution against the parents for uh, for not signing it, or would they then be scot free? For, well, for not bring get them to school because they're required to bring them to school unless they fight on homeschooling them. But, but wait, they they don't they didn't sign the code of conduct, so how could they right, bring him to school right. if they if he's been it, disallowed? It, it turns into like a civil issue. It doesn't become a criminal issue because I really, in my ten years as a school resource officer out of my 30-year career, never really 
took a parent to school because their parent because they didn't sign the uh, sign the uh, code of conduct. Well, I imagine well, everyone signs the code of conduct, right? I mean, it's basically coerced. I mean, essentially, what That's you what have here is a situation it's where it's going to be rare. It's actually be, it's going to well, be quite rare that that would happen. It's right. rare that I people. Th- I think, it's from my experience. Right. I mean, if if you had a situation where you know you're 18 years old, you signed a contract that right. said you would uh, obey all the laws of the United States, even though you hadn't read right. the things, um, right. you know, it would be a stupid, useless contract because you're essentially coerced into doing it. Right. And the schools are holding it, hold it saying, eh, they're going to hold it up and say, you signed this. This says you've read the code of conduct. When I know probably 90% of the kids probably haven't. And yeah. whenever they've gotten in trouble with me, I'd say the very first thing that I tell them is, I don't hate you. Okay. Because because sometimes their parents drum into them. You know, the cops are bad. Don't do anything to get their attention, stuff like that. But I would tell the kids, because they can tell the kid's going to be in trouble with their parents. It's not a high majority of the time, the parents in the school can take care of business, unless it's something really bizarre. Um, now, if he's on school property, it's a little different. He's probably going to be recommended for exposure and some pro- and prior, prior protocols are going to follow that. And, um, well, in, in this case, the um, young man is not going to be disciplined at school. However, he is going to be facing a misdemeanor or criminal charge um, for weapons possession. A, look at it. It's, it's a, a BB gun. In Virginia, it wouldn't qualify because it doesn't have a um, an explosive charge like gunpowder to send uh, That's around. good to know. And I don't think, it would, I don't think the same thing would happen in, in New Hampshire either. But uh, thanks for the call, right. Dana. I appreciate the but, expertise tonight. Is, Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. Freddie is in Virginia Beach as well, listening to WNIS. Go ahead, Freddie. Well, I'm so glad I just heard Dana call because I have a daughter who's going to start, or was going to start, uh, kindergarten in the fall here in Virginia Beach. But I have no idea about this code of conduct. I was going to have to swear allegiance that my child would never do anything that they didn't want that my child to do when she walked out the front door. So now... I'm not sending my daughter to public school. I'm going to put her in private school. I'm going to find a decent private school and send her to because I'm not about to sign a code of conduct that says that my daughter, if she does anything untowards that the city of Virginia Beach does not like, then therefore she's going to be in trouble. I I never knew about this. Like I said, she's just starting in the fall. I never knew, and it's not going to happen now because I will not swear, sign her freedom away to them if they think that, Awesome. I, I think it's going to happen more and more, This uh, the same situation, because the fact is the schools are cracking down, the zero tolerance is getting out of control, and parents don't want to subject their kids to it. Now, the problem is is that you're forced to pay for the public school, whether you send your kid or not, and that makes it a bit, a bit of a uh, financial hardship for a lot of people, but... You know, I mean, one the, the, in many states, Texas uh, and Mississippi, as, especially, they're they're arresting kids for things as crazy as you know writing on a desk and uh, doing a bunch of stuff. Kids below the age of ten, it's the stuff we've read is bananas. Stuff that uh, everybody's done, I mean, or most people have done, or known someone who's done in school. A lot of it is now criminal, and in Texas, thousands of students have been arrested and charged with class. I think it was class C misdemeanor charges for things like you know mooning the their buddies when the bus is pulling away and things like that so nothing yeah, wrong just, with a good mooning just keeps getting more insane freddie any other thoughts you want to share well it just seems like i i wish these so-called educators would focus more on on teaching children as to, as to disciplining them i understand that you know there are parents out there who are not taking care of their children the way my wife and i do ours and, and perhaps you guys do mm-hmm. yours as well not everybody's the same but they need to focus more on, on teaching the children. But I, I've done Senator, she's going to private school now. I'm just not going to do it, man. Well, there are a lot I, of good reasons I, to I get your, your child out of the government schools. But even then, you might find private schools are disappointing. I mean, I think they're generally better than, than government schools, but many of them sort of still have the same Prussian education model as the, the government they, school yeah. system does. You may exactly. want to also look into, depending on how much uh, you know time resources you have, uh, homeschooling and or unschooling are both interesting options to explore as well. So while you're looking at options, I'd say put them all on the table. And Freddie, thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate yeah, hearing from you, sir. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. You can share your experiences with dumb school policies. Maybe as a student or as a parent or as a teacher, you can take control here at 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. 
If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. It's the Onion Radio News. A crazy man announces plans to stand in a doorway and yell at cars. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Dennis Fife, an Alhambra, California crazy man, held a press conference today to announce his intention to stand in the doorway of the office building at 2600 Kenilworth Avenue and yell at cars all day. At approximately 9.30 a.m. on the day in question, shortly after I finish lunging at dogs, I will proceed to the front steps of the Simmons building and yell loudly for nine hours. The screaming will be broken by a 15-minute fit of rigid catatonia, most likely in the late afternoon. Among the topics Fife plans to address during his nine-hour rant, the ace of diamonds, bookshelves, the man trying to kill him, plastic bags in trees, Trapper John M.D., and papers, papers everywhere. Oil Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your news feed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves. You can do it via toll-free at uh, number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That number is brought to you by ProXPN. You can also do it via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to connect with us there. You do have to send a contact request first if you're going to do Skype. It'll be approved, and then after that, you can call us no problem there. Don't forget to check out our website at freetalklive.com. If you have a mobile device and you would like quick access to our live streams as well as the podcast, you can just go to m, as in mobile.freetalklive.com. That's m.freetalklive.com. If you're just tuning in to bring you up to speed, the story on the table, now you can call about anything, but the story on the table is a young man who is in trouble. He's got a misdemeanor charge coming at him uh, in Dubuque, Iowa, for having uh, his car parked off campus 
with a BB gun inside. Now, he didn't, he made the mistake, as many teenagers do. Those are, we're always making mistakes, even in our adult years. You constantly learn from your mistakes. So but hopefully he's Teenagers learned seem one. to concentrate them. Yeah. Uh, well, because a lot of them you're making for the first time. Many of us will make our mistakes over and over again until we finally learn. Hopefully he'll learn this one pretty quickly, that you don't leave a BB gun out where somebody walking by the car can see the gun. So that's what happened. Somebody called the cops. The cops came in. They made a hubbub at the school, and they arrested this uh, this guy. Yeah, I wonder how many times he said, it's just a BB gun. Exactly. And, uh, and it was in his car, not in his possession, not a threat to anybody whatsoever. But nonetheless... They freaked out, and now he is uh, going to be facing some sort of consequences for it. You're welcome to share your thoughts on this or zero tolerance in general. Let's go to the phones and to the fun. Jeff, listening in Aberdeen, KBKW in Washington. Hey, Jeff. Hey, guys. How you doing? Welcome, sir. Great. Um, I just wanted to jump in on this. Uh, you know, here in Washington State, a BB gun isn't considered a weapon, just like uh, the gentleman, I believe he was from, or Lewis, I think that was his name. Um, I'm a felon. Um, I committed a felony when I was a kid, and I'm allowed to own BB guns. The state here does not see that as a weapon because it doesn't have powder. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't discharge an actual bullet. Wait a second. Um, um, so I, I'm a felon too, and well, the state doesn't consider it a firearm. Now the question is: is I, I'm sure you're talking do, about New Hampshire, Mark? Right. I I I bet you. Look, the fact is that no state considers a BB gun to be a firearm. But in this instance, if the, at the end of the article, they did kind of specify that under certain circumstances, they can call a BB gun a weapon. Mm -hmm. And likely, they're calling it a deadly weapon because it was, you know, for whatever whatever reasons, um, it has something to do with the way it was stored or the brandishing of it. Um, or it doesn't that say sort of deadly thing. weapon. It just says possession of a weapon. Possession of a weapon. But a weapon is only a weapon when it's deadly is the idea. Um, okay. Yeah. And I think that what's going on here is is that they're probably charge, charging him for somebody having seen him have this this uh, handgun replica thing outside of his vehicle is what I likely believe that there is going on here. You're I, I just can't help but think this is more of the uh, the nanny state kind of junk that we've got going on all over the country. You know how they want to protect our children from all the badness that goes on. When I was a kid. If I got bullied, if I got, if I went home with a black guy, you know, my mother told me, punch him back, fight back. Uh, you know, you, you got to stand up for yourself. And if you, if we keep accepting this, uh, the schools wanting to do something to our children for them making mistakes. I mean, whatever happened with calling the parents in and saying, hey, uh, your your child broke the rules. Uh, what do you want to do about it? Because that's what they used to do with me. Mm. I. I well, the school resource officer that just called in said that the vast majority of when when he was working, the vast majority of issues could be handled by the parents in the school. But I think that over time, especially since uh, the Columbine instance, schools are handling fewer and fewer of these incidents, and the police are handling more and more. And police only have one system, and that system gives your kids, you know, it, it's worse than the school's permanent record. It really is a permanent record. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But, you know, we, like like you guys were talking about a little bit ago, how they're banning dodgeball because it's a violent, you know, uh, activity. That was, like you said, that was the best thing I had in, in school back then. It was fun. And kids still enjoy it. They, you know, my kids play dodgeball at home. So it was one of the only sports like, I liked in uh, physical yeah. education class. I hated running and yeah. All I hated the, football and you, you get to play dodgeball whenever it rained outside and there was supposed to be some sort of outdoor activity, you mm. know, one of those things that was, you know, just no fun at all. And then it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. well, it's pouring down rain. I guess we'll play dodgeball. And everybody's, Yay! you know, it's it's a big deal. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, anything else? The schools, the schools are just getting out of control nowadays, though. And most people can't afford to send their kids to private school. And now we got the federal government cracking down on homeschooling. You know, we got Eric Holder going after homeschoolers because really? they're they're training, you know, violent extremists or whatever. Wow, I hadn't heard uh, about that headline yet. That's it's interesting. It's just ridiculous. Oh yeah, they're they're targeting homeschools all over the country right well, now because you know, they're, what, they're not meeting the standards. What and, what and is a parent core. supposed to do? I mean, if a parent can't they feel like they can't afford or parents feel like they can't afford a private school, and they, they don't really, for whatever reason, feel like they can uh, unschool or have homeschooling for their child. What are the, what homeschooling are is the most expensive option. The most expensive? It's the most expensive because a parent has to stay home. 
okay. many cases. I know, what about uh, homeschooling? I know Ron, Ron Paul has his own homeschooling program that's free up to sixth, sixth grade. grade. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's one option me and my wife are looking into because we're just getting tired of all that BS that goes on at the school, you know? Totally. I'm with you. Well, the thing is, Nowadays. even if you're tired of the BS and the government schools, and there's a lot of it to be tired of, and there's always something new, even if you're tired of it, they still take your money. Even if you manage to, to pull your child out and put them in a private school or unschool or homeschool, they're still getting whatever the arbitrary amount is that they've demanded out of you. And I, I have to wonder, when will parents finally rise up and refuse to pay uh, for these schools? I mean, look, if you're not going to use the schools, if you don't support the curriculum, why would you want to pay for them? Why? Well, because you know the government and, will steal your home. Unless you run your own business, though, that's up to the employer. You know, my I've talked to my employer numerous times about not taking my federal taxes out. Wait, 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 I, wait, wait, I wait hold on. In, in, wa- in Washington, are you saying property taxes don't go to support the schools there? Because that's it's usually how it is tax, in most yeah. places. I'm sure. Yeah, I think it comes out of property taxes. Yeah. Um, but so that's I, what I'm I saying. Rant, so I, if, if you uh, don't, if you as parents don't pay the property tax, then they're likely going to come and take the house. But what yeah. if a group of parents were to come together for this purpose and have a protest about, look, we're not going to pay these taxes because we're not sending our kids to the schools and we don't value the curriculum. Why should you be forced to pay for something that you don't value? I thank you, Jeff, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But, of course, that's a pretty big risk, right? Most Huge. people, they yeah. don't want to take a risk like that. And most people aren't in a position, even if they do own a home, uh, they don't really own it. The bank owns it. And while the bank owns the home under a mortgage situation, you've signed a contract agreeing to pay for the property taxes. Every yeah. mortgage uh, contains a provision about paying property taxes. I don't know what the percentage of people that are paying property taxes or is paying uh, mortgages on their single fa- on the and the, their primary residence, but I would imagine you're talking about ninety percent, especially 80%, people, uh, uh, you know. Kids, parents with uh, school age kids. Yeah, I, I'll bet you're in the ninety percent range, yeah, but I'm certainly um, at in the eighty uh, percent and, uh, and up. So, I mean, it seems like a fantasy, but to me, that that seems like the only way you're going to change these things. I mean, what you're going to do? Run for school board? Maybe have a, a slim chance in hell of possibly getting elected after a, a few tries for school board, and then what? You're one vote out of nine or something like that, and you'll never have any chance of getting things through the system to, to try to actually change it from within. You mentioned unschooling, and people are fam- usually familiar with homeschooling. They're not usually familiar with unschooling. It's worth looking into. So unschooling, yeah, you can Google it. <laughs> but uh, we do this at home with my son. I call it family-directed learning. And what it is is, is we don't have a curriculum. I know what my son needs to learn, and uh, you know at this point, and we sort of focus him in that direction as best we can. But you're only going to learn the things you're excited about learning. So he's excited about uh, you know getting on the computer and watching uh, you know videos on how to build build Legos. We make him type in everything that he wants to look for. How do you say that? How do you sound it out? So he's already reading above his grade level. Hopefully, we'll have him writing and typing above his grade level uh, shortly mm-hmm. too. Very exciting stuff. I don't know if you know of one particular unschooling website, but uh, certainly you can Google it. It's a neat idea. Yeah, you'll find whatever works for you. People have all all kinds of different activities. I mean, it's as wide and and you know wide and weird as there are parents. All right, so we have more on the way here. Your thoughts certainly welcome on the student who is in trouble now. He's looking at misdemeanor, a misdemeanor charge for weapons possession for having a BB gun in his car. And, of course, you know, they're probably presuming it was his, but what if one of his friends left it there? I guess he, he, might, have, uh, he might have copped to it, might have admitted it uh, to the police, which, of course, always a good idea to keep your mouth shut if the police are questioning you about things like this. Uh, but you're welcome to share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. We have a full hour remaining here on this live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. And uh, there's other stuff in the news to talk about as well, including drones and girls on the beach all in the same article. Uh, You can take control of the airwaves here. And there's also a Florida couple who's been fined for feeding homeless people. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Hour 3 is next. You take control. 
What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,292, silver opened at $19.29, while Bitcoin is trading at $448.96. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner, one terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours today online, bitmaintech.com, or give them a call, 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Thursday, the Federal Communications Commission voted in favor of a proposal that could charge websites for higher quality delivery of their content to American consumers. An example of this would be a service provider like Verizon charging a website like Netflix for the guarantee of flawless video streaming. Now, the proposal will be open for public comment over the next 120 days. Critics warn smaller companies would have trouble paying for faster delivery, and some predict anticipated costs might be passed on to consumers. A new study published in the Journal of Analytical Chemistry indicates that fluoride ions found in fluoridated water and toothpaste may lead to an increase in urinary stone disease. The study was conducted by chemists from Russia and Australia, led by Pavel Nestorenko at the University of Tasmania. The team studied 20 urinary stones from patients at a Russian hospital and discovered fluoride ions in 80% of the stones. That could be due to high levels of fluoride in patients' urine, possibly from drinking water containing fluorides and ingesting fluoride toothpaste. A federal appeals court halted the execution of convicted killer Robert Campbell Tuesday evening after his attorneys appealed his sentence citing mental impairment, making him ineligible for the death penalty. The execution would have been the first since Oklahoma's recent attempt to execute Clayton Lockett, who was convicted of murdering a 19-year-old girl. Officials stopped the procedure midway after Lockett regained consciousness and began showing signs of pain. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online at affordablesound.com or call them up 512-459-5253. 
and support comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A decision made by Pennsylvania Supreme Court in Commonwealth v. Gary affects the process in which police obtain warrants while conducting searches. Prior to the court's decision, police were required to obtain a warrant upon approval from a judge in order to search a vehicle during a traffic stop. Now police, and not just a judge, can decide whether to conduct a search. CBS Philadelphia reports that all items in the car are subject to search, including electronic devices such as cell phones. Dave Verdowski, civil rights attorney and professor at Penn Law School, says the change gives police officers with probable cause the right to search a vehicle without having to first obtain a warrant. On Thursday, an above-ground pipeline in Los Angeles spilled around 50,000 gallons of crude oil. The spill temporarily shut down the Atwater Village neighborhood. The fire department reported oil was knee-high in some areas. The company responsible for the spill has not yet been identified. One Chinese worker is dead and 90 others injured following a riot that occurred overnight Wednesday when a mob of around 1,000 stormed a Taiwanese steel mill in Vietnam. USA Today reports the riot is part of an ongoing anti-China protest movement prompted by Beijing's deployment of an oil rig in disputed seas. Taiwan-based companies, which employ many Chinese nationals, are incurring most of the violence and protests. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock central at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Inc., Precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977. Online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, May 16th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Shortly after accidentally clicking like on nearly 400 of his ex-girlfriend's Facebook photos earlier today, panicked area man Adam Nunsing spoke to Onion reporters about his mistake. Damn it, I, I was just looking at one of Rebecca's Instagram photos that showed up on my newsfeed, and the next thing I know, I just liked every single photo that she posted over the last four years. I, I didn't mean to, but it just kind of happened. The 28-year-old told reporters that he had browsed through 14 of his ex-girlfriend's photo albums while inadvertently clicking like on each and every picture, including dozens from her office picnic last fall, her trip to New York in 2010, and a photo of her and her first boyfriend from 2006. I thought if I went back and clicked unlike on all those pictures that maybe she wouldn't get any notifications, but then I saw some other albums and I ended up liking 80 more photos and shared them on my wall. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here. The number is toll free. It's brought to you by Pro XPN 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've also got Skype. You may Skype in. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. With you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. Don't forget you can join us online at freetalklive.com. You can create the content there. When you go to freetalklive.com, you look there on the front page. All the uh, numbered items as you roll down the page, those are created by listeners like you, submitted to our website, then voted on by listeners like you. You can go and get interactive for free at freetalklive.com. You know those other talk show hosts in the business, they want to charge you for accessing their websites You'll probably find as much as you find in their pay section for free on freetalklive.com. Probably more. I think that's probably the case. So we're going to go to your phone calls and thoughts to start things out here. And then later on this hour, if we get the chance, we can talk more about drones and peeping. But Stephen is in Texas to start things out. Stephen, you're on Free Talk Live. Mark and Ian, it's a great show tonight. I love it. Thanks. <clears throat> Good Welcome. job. Go ahead. You know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's such a great subject that you guys were bringing up, I think, inadvertently when you're bringing up the story of the, the kid with the BB gun. But the, the, I think the larger conversation that, that most of the callers have been getting to is just the overall status of our education system and primarily our, our 
grammar school and you know the elementary middle school type levels where the formative years really occur in, in kids. So I just wanted to call in and, and add to it, and that <clears throat> I, you know, I, I think that is really and truly the way that we turn our country around is by focusing on, you know, we talk about grassroots. Well, that literally is our grassroots <laughs> with our kids. But we, uh, my wife and I, we found here in Texas, uh, after a long, long search of different schooling options out there, we found uh, a hybrid, and it's a hybrid between uh, it's a it's a Christian private school, uh, but then it's also a hybrid with homeschooling. So the kids go to school depending on the grade level, of course, but they go to school anywhere from two to five days up in high school, but starting out at two days a week, going to the campus and going to school, and then they're homeschooling with the co-teacher, as they call them, a.k.a. my wife, <laughs> <laughs> on, on the rest the rest of the days of the week. And what's really awesome, and I just want to, kind of wanted to throw that out there for, for listeners maybe tonight to, <clears throat> if, that are you know in the same boat that are looking for different alternatives, hmm. it's not as expensive as most of the of the traditional private schools that are, as you know, can be astronomically expensive. Uh, <clears throat> and it's also kind of that safety net for folks that are nervous about, oh my gosh, do I have the, you know, the wherewithal or the skills and or, and or the patience to truly do a full-blown homeschooling with my kids? Hmm. Because it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of both in between. And the schools also offer suggested, and that's the key word, is suggested curricula that, the, that you use at home with your children that meshes with what they're doing when, when they're on campus. So... Just wanted to throw that out there because it's worked really well for us, and, and it's, a, it's an affordable option out there. Thanks for sharing that, Stephen. I'm glad that it's working out for you, and appreciate hearing from you. So it's called hybrid education? I, I guess that's what we call it. <laughs> that's what you call it. Okay, very it's good. It's some kind of hybrid thing. Hey, thanks for the call tonight. Yeah. I appreciate the heads up. 855-450 free. Let's go to Liberty Phoenix in Illinois via Skype. Hello, Liberty Phoenix. Hey guys, um, before I touch upon what I wanted to like actually call about, I just wanted to say as far as for anybody that thinks that you know just because they're renting that they're not paying property taxes, part of your rent goes into your your uh, your landlord's escrow account and that pays the property taxes. So just because you're renting doesn't mean you're getting away from it. It's true. Um, but I wanted to touch upon the the gun at the high school story um, and just relate something that I experienced in my past uh, when I was a sophomore. There was a uh, a kid that had a grudge against another kid, and he knew that the other kid was in a uh, thespians group, you know, doing uh, theater and stuff, mm-hmm. and that the uh, the students had a bunch of plastic squirt guns, space style plastic squirt guns, and so this one kid was skipping, and he got caught, and so he ratted out the other kid, <sighs> and he was suspended for ten days, and Rat. he had a misdemeanor charges against him, and this was for in a squirt gun. For a green plastic squirt gun. It's insane. Ten day suspension. <laughs> and criminal charges, you said? Yeah. And what kind of criminal everyone, charges? I believe it was just possession of a I, I'm not I don't remember exactly what it was, but a terroristic was device. Well this was in I wanna say ninety nine, two thousand. So wow, it was man. before nine eleven. But they I mean I remember they had um he had a he had a criminal charge. Was it a was that. it an ordinance violation or like a misdemeanor? I would assume. I would assume it was probably an ordinance violation. Still though, that's pretty serious stuff. I mean, I graduated high school in 1998, and I remember I think it was 97 at the end of the school year. I got in trouble for having a uh, a water pistol on campus, but that was no no worse than a than having it confiscated and having a talk with the principal. I mean, I don't even think I got written up for that one. Yeah, this. That the thing about hilarious. this is, is that the difficulty with the sort of zero tolerance thing is, is that there's no consistency. Even when they say zero tolerance, I'm sure the vast majority of squirt guns that are found on school campuses around America are, are, confiscated, are confiscated, and nothing else is said. But the, uh, you know, the the government bureaucrat that then takes it to the very end, where they give a ten days in school, uh, ten days suspension, which was the longest suspension you could get before expulsion when I went to school. Um, they, they, they're not held res- in it to any kind of responsibility in this. This is that's insane. Well, of course not. It's it's zero tolerance subject to the powers that be, which would be the principal. So zero tolerance, and it's up to the principal if he wants to enforce it. It's the they, same with every single level of control that they have in this country. Which is to say, there is tolerance. There's years. as much tolerance as they wish to have, until they wish not to have any more tolerance. It's 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 no more than the other lies that they, that all of the all of every single form of government in this country tells us, because every single form of it above self government is a lie. You use deception and coercion to to convince people to do what you want them to do. Every single form of it. 
Phoenix, I I, I, did I hear on Off the Air Live the other night, which is another show that you uh, have called into a number of times, uh, Off the Air Live, it appears on LRN.FM on Thursday and Saturday nights. Did I hear Cody say you were 15 years old, or was that somebody else? No, that was another kid. Oh, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> you are well-informed for a 15-year-old. Uh, no, but he, there was a 15-year-old that called into Cody's show and blew us away. I mean, the kid was awesome. I, it was either, I think it was Cody's or, um, or Corey Moore. It was one of the two. Okay. But that kid was that kid was a genius. I awesome. love that kid. All right, uh, Phoenix, thanks for the call tonight. Thanks, I appreciate guys. hearing from you at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You know, I don't think they had zero tolerance when I was in high school because the Columbine didn't happen until, I think, 1999, and I would have been out of school for a year at that point. Yeah, Columbine was the 9-11 of uh, schools, essentially. and it's, yeah, It opened up the Pandora's box for anything goes. There had been shootings before, but uh, and there's been shootings since, but... You know, for whatever reason, America reacted to that one. So share your thoughts here, and you can join us on Skype as well. Skype username is LRN.FM. Coming up, the Florida couple in trouble for feeding the homeless. And a woman in Virginia Beach, this is a short one here from Breitbart.com, has complained that a drone operated by a perverted voyeur was filming bathing suit clad women at a private residential beach. Oh, God. According to a participant on Reddit, she, quote, heard this whirring noise above us, and I looked up and saw a remote-controlled plane, one of the square ones that can move really articula articulately in all directions. Initially, she was not alarmed, but then she noticed the drone got more aggressive. She says, quote, I noticed, A, it was getting really close to women, like straight up in their butts close, flying really low, staying there for probably three minutes at a time, and B, it had a camera on it. I got you. The woman confronted the drone operator, explaining, that's seriously creepy. It's the seriously creepy. drone operator attempted to assuage her concern by explaining that it isn't going to hurt you. And then, and she got angry. She said, I'm not worried about my personal safety, though I am now worried a bit for yours. Your drone is creepy and violating. You need to take it out of the air, or I will. Eventually, the drone operator left the beach. Yeah, I mean, this is the equivalent of walking down the beach with a good camera and uh, taking shots of every mm -hmm. woman who's uh, sunbathing out there. Um, is there something wrong with that? Yeah, there's something wrong with it. It's seriously creepy. And whereas, is there something illegal with that or morally wrong or whatever? No. I mean, but it's wrong to sort of look for too long either. Mm. I, I mean, I think that Many uh, people, that go, many women that go to the beach to sunbathe go for the purpose of being seen to some extent. That's what I was thinking. But they don't want to be but ogled. But really. and, and, Well, I mean, you know. They, <laughs> they want to be seen, but not too much. <laughs> well, they don't, they don't want to be seen. Don't Honestly, look too long. They're, look, they're going to be seen by the people they want to be seen by look, and not by you or me. Look, but don't look too long. How long is too long? I don't know. I guess until she gets up and walks over there and tells you to stop. 855. It was before that. 450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Plus, it was a private beach, so that could complicate matters. Free Talk Live. Spring is finally here. Which activity would you rather do? Spring cleaning or spring travel? America's Best Value Inn is making your spring even better with a great deal. Save 15% when you book a room online and stay now through May 21st. Plus, you'll enjoy free internet, continental breakfast, and instant rewards at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Visit americasbestvalueinn.com and clean up on our spring travel deal. Safety, safety, safety. I'm saying it three times. Studies show you need to hear something three times to remember it. So remember, safety, safety, safety is important to me, me, me. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products to help keep our facilities safe and people safer. Say it with me, kid. Safety, safety, safety from Granger, Granger, Granger. When you think safety, think Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. 
or the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though, it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got a website. You can go and enjoy all the features over there. Lots of different ways for you to get interactive with other Free Talk Live listeners. And a Bitcoin tip jar. You can throw your Bitcoins or fractions of them. I imagine you probably prefer to give us fractions of a Bitcoin, considering one Bitcoin is worth around $450 right now. You can get Bitcoins, too, by the way, from CashIntoCoins.com. Now, Cash Into Coins makes it easy. It's safe, it's fast, it's legal, inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. You can use a money order, check, or wire transfer to turn your cash into Bitcoins. And they've got great rates as well. In fact, the rate is 0% if you get less than $40 worth of Bitcoins. There's no fee at CashIntoCoins.com. And when there is a fee, if you go over $40, bucks, uh, when there is a fee... You can donate a portion of the fee to charity. It's really a great service, and it works well. Cashintocoins.com. You do have to have a Bitcoin wallet first, so make sure you get that taken care of. Grab your free Bitcoin wallet at uh, blockchain.info, and then go to cashintocoins.com to hook yourself up with this amazing decentralized electronic currency that the government cannot stop. Very exciting Bitcoins. If you haven't taken a look into them yet, go and check it out at weusecoins.com. And then get your Bitcoins at cashintocoins.com. We continue here. The uh, It's just a quick story from Breitbart that I mentioned in the last segment. There's a woman posted on Reddit claiming that some creepy dude was operating a drone on a beach. Apparently it was a private beach, but let's just say it were a public. I mean, if it's a private beach, in theory, there should be the, some control over the airspace there. The owners can, uh, t- can t- ask him to leave, but in this case... You can probably she, shoot that drone out of the sky if She you threatened to. Uh, his drone, and at some point or another, he packed up and left. 
Right, and and if uh, and, and the the claim was that the drone was maybe down towards the, the people, not like a high level kind of drone that it was flitting about closer to the beach and getting closer shots of yep. uh, women in bikinis. Weird perverts with uh, with with drones. Um, consider that you should just get a better camera on your drone rather than trying to you know get real close with your drone. So uh, I guess you know if you want to share how you feel about this, I feel like uh, in a in a, on a public beach. Let's say they were on a public beach. Technically, it wouldn't be illegal, right, to have a drone there, to have the drone taking pictures of people. What you pointed out, Mark, was that maybe it's you know some people are going to look at that as creepy, and I guess it would depend on the behavior of the drone as to how many people would consider it to be creepy. You know, is a wide shot of the beach a creepy thing? Probably not. No. Uh, hovering right above a woman's uh, breasts or something like that might be uh, considered more. Is creepy. this in Miami? Uh, you know what? This was actually Virginia Beach, Virginia, okay. and she did claim that it was going up their butts. Right. So that kind of close. Yeah. I, I, whatever, whatever that means to her, I, I tend to think that uh, um, it would hurt if a drone hit right. you. By the way, it, it, it little, wouldn't be spinning pleasant. blades. Yeah, not wouldn't good. Be pleasant. Um, but if you're too close, like there's just sort of a personal space for quadrocopters right. with uh, cameras on them, and that that personal space is actually quite far. Um, you know, I mean, if it's hovering 20 feet out while you're laying on the on your face, you know, you know, face down on the dirt, and you like here. What is that? Is that a quadrocopter hovering behind me? And then at some point or another, you realize it's it hasn't gone away. Why mm -hmm. is that? You know, at twenty feet, that's still too close. Really, you have to be. You know, it. it this is creepy behavior. Share your thoughts at eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's go to Jimmy in Tucson. You're on Free Talk Live, Jimmy. Hey, man. Hey, Mark. Ian. Roberto. Hey, huh? uh. I just want to call about Whit. Uh, you know, I think y'all are too hard on him. Okay. And he's a good dude. I've, I've known you him for a I think he's a, a good while. dude. You know him. How well, do you know him? Yeah. Well, I met him at a, we go to a uh, Keep America white local meetup at Bo's Tavern. <laughs> in <Old Prince laughs> Kitchen. It's, in, uh, <laughs> it's in Phoenix. Uh, Bo's is... Bose is home with a half dozen Rocky Mountain oysters for three ninety nine. Pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, did you say the Keep them. America White, white. Group? <laughs> yes, that's what he said. <laughs> well, you know what Rocky it's, Mountain uh, oysters are too, right? Uh, no, those are the testicles of uh, goats. Oh my. Oh well, well, cattle. It's it's a nonviolent meetup where we discuss how we're gonna peacefully keep America white. You know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. I don't, you know. Well, Whatever. We get All right, Jimmy. Whatever. Thank you for the call tonight. Uh, good joke. Appreciate hearing from you. <laughs> I hope that's he's, a joke. He's talking about our uh, our chronic caller, uh, the combat the combative chronic caller who loves to focus on the past. Wit. I don't know if there's ever been any evidence that Wit is actually a racist. No, I don't think so. Um, but he does come off as quite intolerant of other types of people, not necessarily based on their skin color, but perhaps on their religion or and or uh, the plot of land from which they... Uh, Just they leave hail. the joke. The joke oh, is the joke. But I understand. It was a good joke, but I had to explain because not everybody was listening or knows who Wit is. In fact, he called... He used the name James tonight, so even though Wit called the show, uh, he wasn't referred to as Wit. So for those of you who have been listening for the full show, you have a little more context there. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, apparently, feeding the homeless has been a real challenge uh, for folks in various different places. And Florida seems to be an especially bad place for it. There were a number of activists who were arrested a few years ago in Orlando. Well, after... if you were homeless, where would you go? Where it's warm. Yes, so that's where I would go to Florida. <laughs> I mean, they, these homeless up here in New Hampshire are really, really ballsy people. I, well, I, I think it's... I mean, it seems obvious that you would head south, and, and I can see why Florida would end up with a larger homeless population, perhaps conceivably have a larger ho homeless population than many. So, you know, they're going to react to that uh, even that much more, um, you know, to crack down that much more. Really, the problem is is um, where homelessness intersects with uh, civilization, because oftentimes that's where folks will go. Um, if you have some kind of little homestead you put up in the woods, oftentimes— you know, you're not going to deal with too many problems at all. It's that intersection with civilization that seems to be the issue. 
Well, even with the homesteads in the woods, as soon as the bureaucrats find out about it, they tend to have a problem with it. There was a situation here in Keene with a homeless camp that was in the woods nearby a, sh nearby a shopping center, but that shopping center's, uh, the plaza owner, had allowed those homeless people to stay there. Yet, even with the private property owner's permission, the city still cracked down on those folks. And then you've got this, uh, the story uh, coming out of Pensacola, Florida, with... Sean's Outpost there, which is a Bitcoin-based homeless charity, they have been in a lot of hot water over operating, what, nine acres? I mean, yep. this is nowhere near civilization. This is a, a forest land that they're allowing homeless people to camp on, and the city has a problem with that. So any amount of help, it seems like, in a lot of pla in certain places, if you give help to the homeless, uh, you'll be targeted. And that's what happened to Chico and Debbie Jimenez in Daytona Beach, according to thinkprogress.org. After feeding the hungry in a Daytona Beach park every weekend for more than a year. That's that's pretty dedicated. It's dedication. It's just as easy to imagine Chico and Debbie Jimenez given a ticker tape parade as what they actually got. A slew of citations and a permanent ban from the park. It goes down in the permanent record. Chico, or Chico and Debbie Jimenez, the husband and wife team, aren't handing out food in the Florida heat every Wednesday because of a court order or for a paycheck. They do it because they believe in helping the poor. They believe that it is their religious duty. They run a Christian Jesus outreach group. Jesus was pretty clear on it. They run a Christian outreach group called Spreading the Word Without Saying a Word Ministry that gives food to the needy every week, pointing to Jesus' words in Matthew 25, 40. And we'll share more with you on this here in moments. Does anyone really think that people feeding the homeless should be punished? Share your thoughts. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at LionsofLiberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that you want and do it here toll-free. On this live Saturday edition, plenty of time for your calls and thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got a YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, go and check that out. It's uh, youtube.freetalklive.com. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If you go there, you can get a free pound of coffee. Delicious coffee. High-end coffee. 100% organic. Shade grown, and shade grown is different than uh, regular robusto beans that are grown out in the open. Because what what they do with shade grown is is they leave the trees in the ground. They grow in the shade like coffee was meant to be. It takes longer, and it's not as efficient use of uh, a, a square acre or an acre of land. But what it does do is manage to keep the topsoil there, so it doesn't deplete the land and. A decade or two, causing the coffee companies to move on to someplace else and leaving the poor people there with no way to uh, you know, make a living. That's why I love BuzzBox Coffee, because they really care about the people that work for them, for the people in those communities uh, where they have their coffee, and for the people, their partners like Free Talk Live. We are able to offer a, um, a, a another microloan for every 10 people who get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. You can go there. Get a free pound. You sign up for the subscription. You can cancel at any time. You get your free pound. You can cancel the subscription. That's fine. But if you continue to get your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we're going to be able to offer a microloan to somebody. Well, if 10 people do, um, we'll be able to offer another microloan to somebody around the world so that they can start a business and get their family out of poverty, a real hand up instead of a handout. And those are the kind of things that I think really work. Go get your free pound. Get started now at coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay the shipping. And you can cancel your subscription anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, let's continue here. You can bring up anything that you want. We go to the phones and to the fun. We can talk more about the folks that are in trouble for feeding the homeless here in a moment. Matthew is in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Matthew. Hello, Hello? Matthew. You're on the air. Okay, super. All right. So basically, I think the income tax should be repealed and replaced with nothing because 100% of the money you pay in income tax goes to pay interest on the debt. So not a single cent that you expect the money to be spent on the service the taxpayer uh, expects is, and that's why you could replace it with nothing with no problem. And only one-third of our revenue comes from the income tax, only 40%. Yes, but there's that's so much reason. obedience that they get out of the income tax. I mean, they get to beat people down mentally every single year by having them. I mean, Mark's talked multiple times about how his wife does spends like 40 hours a, a year on the income taxes. I mean, there's a lot of uh, obedience training involved in this. Oh, yeah, I know. It's also, I think it would be very hard, you know, for any politician because of that, to probably want to get rid of it and replace it with nothing, which is why I think they all want these false solutions to replace it with something else. Sure. You know, for instance, the uh, fair tax. The um, so-called fair tax, yeah. Yeah, the, the fair tax is not really good because it's a national sales tax. So what you would have is you would have a national sales tax of 30-something percent, a 13 percent sales tax already. Right. It would actually be and harder to uh, to not pay that than it would be to not pay the income tax. Well, I'm sure the states would just get rid of their sales tax um, if uh, they put in a national sales tax, right? 
Well, uh, no. they, they probably they probably would, but even no, though they wouldn't. Not, <laughs> Come on, there's no way that the state's going to get rid of their sales. They tax. can't. I mean, they have all, all right. this. They, there would be no way for them to okay. generate the revenue yeah. otherwise. All right, all right, so maybe they would. I, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but all I know is that a sales tax wouldn't be good for the economy because you would have less money spent on the economy because you have to uh, spend more on goods, and that's why sales taxes aren't good anyways already as they are. You know, they're bad for the economy of the countries they're put in, and. So what would happen, though, is what I would fear is we would end up getting both a national sales oh, yeah. tax and income tax right, if you replace it with that. And then with the fair tax, a fair tax is basically um, a highly progressive income tax. Because how it works is for the first $69,000 uh, that somebody makes, you know, they pay no tax. And then if you make more than that, then you, then you pay more. And so it actually would be more unfair than what we already have. And that's what most people don't realize is all these people, you know, Rand Paul and others promoting it, are not trying to help us. You see, they're false liberty advocates advocating something to keep the system going. Now, you can very easily replace it with nothing just by having the government not spend more than well, receive an increase. Let, you well, that let, right let me address what you're saying <laughs> there, because the fact is, is that money's fungible. You're claiming that the, the income tax, uh, the current, the IRS income tax only goes to pay the interest on the debt. I've heard that's true. There's OK. So the amount of money that is collected through income tax is less than the amount of the interest paid on the debt, as I recall. However, there's principal. Um, if, if they're going to pay principal, they have to get the money from somewhere. This is going to be a tremendous cut in the revenue of the federal government. We need to have systems for dealing this. If, if you're going to cut the revenue of the federal government, um, you know, in some way, shape or form, you need to have some kind. You need to say something besides just cut the funding. All right. Well, like I already mentioned, it's only 40 percent of the revenue. All right. But anyways. My, my figure for the so spending so spending is going to be cut by more than forty percent because we need to get the the debt down too, right? Well, here's how I see it. You know, in 1984, there was a there was a commission report, um, uh, Reagan commission report, and you can find it online. And basically, it was to see where the money goes for the income tax. That's where they found 100% of it goes to pay interest on the debt. Yeah, I've been hearing that for better. years, uh, as that being the case. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, changing these things to the federal government level is an impossible task. I'd rather focus yeah. here in New Hampshire and actually achieve more freedom here and nullify and or secede from the federal government. Matthew, thank you for the call tonight. Yeah. I appreciate it. Let's go to Tony Stiles. He is on with us here. I've been trying to get him here uh, with us to talk about some breaking news, essentially, just broken within the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, Tony, you got arrested recently. You're a uh, talk show host, Tony Styles. That's S T I L E S dot com is your website. Uh, border Patrol. Who was this? I saw some of the video, and it looked like a border checkpoint. Yeah, it, it kind of was, but but we were pulled over before the checkpoint. They had they had ushered us over there long before that checkpoint was in sight. So it wasn't as we drove to a che checkpoint that they got us in there. It was they were more than likely looking for us. Hmm. It was an interesting chain of events that, that transpired. What happened was I was in Los Angeles and my guys were driving to Tampa where I had to give a speech. I was finishing up some business in, in California and I was going to fly out to Tampa, meet them there, and we were gonna go on with the tour. I'm on a speaking tour right now. So what happened was when they got to El Paso, Texas, the police pulled them over and they said that the car they're driving is stolen which is untrue. It's my car. I know very well that it's not stolen. I know who's driving it. And I would have had to report it stolen in order for that to actually happen. So they agree. They're like, all right, you know, they don't know what to do. Sure. Okay. Let's just go ahead and, and go along with this. They impound the car. They call me and they say, you need to come down. So they'll release the vehicle. Wow. So I rent a car and I drive from Los Angeles to El Paso, Texas in the Ooh. middle of the night when I'm supposed to be sleeping. And I show up there, and they release the car. Less than an hour later, they have us pulled over. Okay, slow down for a second. Who was it that did the first pullover? Was it state police in Texas? It was state police in Texas that okay. did the first. And then who and pulled then you over the second time? It was a. It was border. Border patrol. All right. Do we still have you? By the way, kind of cut out there for a second. Tony. Tony. Can you hear me now? Can yep. you hear me now? I got gotcha. you. All right. Sorry. 
Yeah, I'm driving right now. I apologize. I'm in between. I, I probably shouldn't say where I'm at. I'm okay. in between places. <laughs> All right, so you, you came to rescue your guys to get your car out of impound, which they claimed was stolen, which you say wasn't. And uh, you got the car out. You guys hit the road. At this point, Just were you planning to drive to Tampa? Yeah, at that point, I was planning on going to, uh, to San Antonio, riding with them to San Antonio and flying back to Los Angeles to finish up what I was doing and then back out to Tampa. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. Was, yeah. It, I don't envy was, your schedule. I want to hear the rest of the story. You can stick with us, right, Tony? Yeah, you bet. All right, stand by. We're, uh, we're going to bring Tony Styles back here. His website, TonyStyles.com. He's on a speaking tour right now, actually, so we'll find out more about that if we get a chance. And what happened at this checkpoint? I, some of this video is pretty ridiculous. I'll post it up on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter for you to observe. More coming up here in moments with Tony Styles. This is Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF+, Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence of a political scandal that will destroy Obama's political career and ruin the retirement of millions of unprepared Americans. I've just posted a video at www.obamasecret.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this scandal is set to unfold. This imminent scandal will trigger a virtually unstoppable chain of events that will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere. This event will, however, also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Visit www.obamasecret.com to view my newly released video. Again, that's www.obamasecret.com before it's too late. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, 
Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain. We might be able to sneak in here at 855-450 free. Uh, we can't put you on Skype because Tony Styles is with us. We're going to bring him back in just a quick moment. want to also let you know about freetalklive.com and ways you can help support Free Talk Live. One of them is by shopping with us through shop.freetalklive.com. You get stuff through Amazon. Free Talk Live benefits when you do that. Shop.freetalklive.com. We're going to bring Tony back on. He's on the road. Hopefully his signal will stay good because he was arrested along with uh, some of his crew members. Uh, he's a radio talk radio personality with a, a Liberty Viewpoints. TonyStyles.com is his website. And there's, a, there's some excerpts from video that he took uh, of the arrest involving what appears to be Border Patrol. And uh, this was in Texas, El Paso, Texas. The story is over at benswan.com, and uh, and I have posted this video and the article up on our Facebook, etc. But I just want to play a quick excerpt from the video so you can see how absolutely ludicrous uh, the, the behavior was that they had to deal with here prior to the arrest. <laughs> Them getting out of the car. No, you may not. I don't know if it's a weapon or not. It's not a weapon. I'm letting you know right now. I don't know if it's a weapon, if it's a knife, or it's a gun. Let me have your phone. You I'll put it in your letter. Nope. Let me right. have your no. phone. It <laughs> might be a gun. <laughs> right. wait, so, wait a minute. Then it's not a phone. It's not happening. You're not bringing then we're it not, Then we're not getting out of the car. All right. <laughs> You're not having my phone. I don't know if it's a weapon or not. You'd know full well if not a f***ing weapon. Are you f***ing kidding me? Yeah. Uh, so they give you give you a little taste of what you're gonna get uh, in this video here as we bring Tony Styles back with us. So uh, apparently it was a phone enough for him to identify it as a phone, but at the same time he was also scared that it might be a gun. How many times have phones turned out to be guns in real life? I, <laughs> I don't know if there's a real statistic for that. Yeah. <laughs> so this was before the arrest. They're demanding, they're threatening you guys to get out of the car. Uh, you'd already had a situation where Texas state uh, state troopers had pulled over your car with your friends in it, your tr- crew members, after having claimed that it was reported stolen. You said that wasn't true. You had to drive out from California to get this thing out of an impound lot. And then after picking this up, you're all together and you get pulled over again. And that's when this happened, this interaction. Yeah. And it kind of had the feeling, and I've been arrested plenty of times, you know, I... <laughs> It's one of those unfortunate parts of being a part of this this Liberty community that we're a part of. It, it happens. This was the first time that I felt like it was like it was a targeted deal. Hmm. Is what it felt like. This was the first time I've ever had that feeling, and it felt like when because the guys were tweeting, we're heading out to Tampa, driving through this place and that place. Hmm. I have a feeling that they that people thought uh, that the government thought that I was in the car, and when they pulled it over in Texas and they didn't have me in there, they figured okay impound the car he'll have to show up and then a couple miles down the road that's when they get me and what transpires there is they eventually this is this is very true and i can't stress this enough people know this about me i don't smoke marijuana it's not something i do i advocate for the for the for the decriminalization of it i'll do that all day long i don't do it myself i'm not a big drinker i don't you know i'm just not that kind of guy that's just not what i do I, I have plenty in the past. I, I've smoked enough to, to, you know, cure cancer. I'm pretty sure of it. But uh, at this point in my life, over the past 10 years, I just don't do it. So when they pull us over and they say the drug dog has smelled marijuana and has a hit on the car, which is untrue, we're looking at each other like, what is? what are they talking about? None of us have that on. They know mm-hmm. better. I know better. So they come in, they search the car, and they, they, pull, they bring us down the road. They search the car at the checkpoint. The dog the entire time, according to my lawyer, who's had a had a expert that trains police dogs, look at the video, said the dog never went out of searching mode. It was waiting for commands. It never pointed, not once, according to what they saw in the video. So, where were the where was the marijuana? Where exactly was it? It was funny. They went through with the bags. They looked at all the bags really carefully. They pulled one bag in particular out. It's the only bag that's labeled that has any name on it. Guess whose name is on it? It's mine. Mm-hmm. So they say, okay, there's marijuana in this bag. They show us this container. They never showed us the marijuana that was inside of it, never once. They just show a little medis- medical container is all they show us. And they say, we found marijuana in your car. You're under arrest. 
So Texas is a zero tolerance state. Yeah. So they're pretty much just wanting, uh, wanting to detain us, hold us there, knowing that because none of us know who it belongs to, that because of that, they'll have to turn it over to county and county can then hold us because nobody will confess to who it is. Nobody will confess to whose it is that they can hold us until a judge is willing to see us, which, you know, that's Monday better than anybody. Yeah. Yep. Better than anybody that they can wait as long as they want to with that. They can take their sweet time doing that. So when they put, they pull us in there, they put us in separate cells. They put us together. Finally, they say, we're going to take you off to County. None of you know whose it is. And my tour manager, Eric, great, you know, great guy. He, uh, he knew we had this discussion before we went on tour that if anything like this would happen because it, you know, who knows, you never know what could happen, that he would, he would do this, he would take the fall. And he sure enough, he raised his hand and he said, yeah, that's mine. And surprised the hell out of them. They did not see that coming. Huh. So they wrote a ticket and put us back away for a couple more hours and then on the road we went. So what is he charged with? Possession of marijuana? Is it a misdemeanor, a felony? Do you know? That's funny. That's really funny because what they what they gave us instead of a it's a misdemeanor, but they didn't give us uh, they didn't give him rather a uh, a ticket for uh, possession of marijuana. They gave him a ticket for paraphernalia, which tells me they didn't have any marijuana. They had nothing. Wow. They had a container, and it was a it's a medical bottle. It's a blue medical bottle. Looks like something that you that you get in in Washington or Colorado or someplace huh. like that. And, never, and do you believe that this was actually in the bag or that it was planted? I believe it, I believe it was planted. It had to be because it's my bag. Yeah. Now why tell would, me, I, why right? would I drive from California to Texas and plan on getting on an airplane with marijuana in my bag? Yeah. <laughs> why, did, um, why do you think they're targeting you? Because, frankly, Ian and I have traveled plenty, and we've never had problems like this before. So it, it, always, it always makes me wonder, but it does. your story sounds for all the world like they were looking for you. That's what it. That's the feeling that I got from it. I've been I've been arrested a couple times. This is the first time that I felt like it was a targeted thing. I don't know why they do that. And you you guys know you know it's uh, just as probably better than most people. Definitely mo better than most people. That you know this kind of stuff does happen. They do target some people. It's happened to a few people out there. I don't know why in particular me. I don't know what they what they're thinking, but. I, I don't know. I think they just saw an opportunity. Well, maybe they Texas wanted to help you promote your speaking tour, Tony. Where are you going next? <laughs> maybe. Maybe Texas was just doing me a favor. Well, because we now wouldn't be having you on right now if they hadn't arrested you. So, uh, you yeah. know, what, let's plug the speaking tour. What's it about? Where are you going next? We're going to uh, – next stop is Jacksonville, followed by Atlanta and Nashville. All right. That's that's our that's our plan of attack. Uh we're to, it's a Truth, Liberty, and Solutions tour. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just going around and I'm, I'm meeting other people that are like-minded. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. There's not a whole lot of people that think the same way that I do there. It's a pretty <laughs> predominantly red state. I'm an island on my own there. There's a few people that I've connected with, but I, mean, I can count them on one hand. Mm, yep. So I, really, outside of that, I haven't been able to go around and meet all these people that have, that have been following me and listening to the show and everything else. And I was looking forward to it and was afforded the opportunity to do it. And that's what I'm doing. How does one create a speaking tour like that? I mean, does somebody just come to you and say, Tony, I want you to talk in all these different places. Did somebody put this together for you? Have you been kind of making all that happen? It's What, what happened was we got approached and talked to Liberty on the Rocks, which is a great organization. Oh, they cool. Have a, yeah, they're a sponsor. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They're, they're great people, great people. Amanda there in, in Colorado, we just met up with her not too long ago, and she's a great gal. And she set it all up and, and put it together. And then there's a couple other places like uh, like the Libertarian Party of Florida convention and the United We Stand Festival out in Los Angeles and and a couple other things that we that we added on to it to go to. And great. It just kind of all worked out. And I'm, I'm happy that it happens. And guys, uh, Free Talk Live, I listen to you guys all the time. I love this show. This is you, what you guys do is is the is the cornerstone of what every Liberty Talk show should be doing. And well, I, I appreciate, really appreciate that. You guys. So where are you right now? You're you're on the road. Where where are you? I'm right on the now? road somewhere in Florida. Oh, that's right. You didn't in want to say <laughs> okay. Because I know that. the Libertarian Party, uh, Florida, is having their convention this weekend. Our Daryl Perry is actually uh, was down there. He spoke there this morning. Um, so that's very cool. And when's the tour wrap up? How many more stops? And when's it done? Uh, the final stop is in Council Bluffs, Iowa, on the I believe it's the 12th of July. Okay. 
All and right. that's a three, the 311 Grassroots concert out there. And that's uh, it's, a, it's right across the river from Omaha. So as we're wrapping it up in, in my home place. Cool. Tony Styles. glad you're not inside a cage and uh, hope to hear yeah, updates. Too. Hope to hear updates about what happens with your uh, your uh, your cohort, the guy who took a fall for yeah. you, essentially, or for whoever. Uh, so, yeah, keep us in the loop on that. And thanks for calling in tonight. I appreciate you taking your uh, your time to explain what happened. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate you affording me the opportunity. It's Tony Styles, S T I L E S dot com. You can learn more about the tour there, I presume, and get his radio show, etc. Thanks, Tony, and drive safe out there tonight. We are out of time for tonight, but we'll be back. At least you, Mark, will be back tomorrow for the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Live seven nights a week. That's right. Seven to ten at night Eastern time. If you're not listening live, you can always call in live and then listen to yourself later on your favorite radio station or via podcast, archive, etc., which you can download for free at freetalklive.com. Wishing you the best and hope you have a great weekend. There's a Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. There's a treasure hunt going on at MathGate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, MathGate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to MathGate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to MathGate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at MathGate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Temporarily from Tampa, Florida, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, May 17th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $450. According to Russian Energy Minister Alexander Novak, Ukraine's interim government may have lost the long-standing natural gas discount they were getting from Russia in the past, but negotiations for a new one are possible. According to Novak, the Russian government is willing to discuss a new price discount provided Ukraine actually starts making good on its payments for gas delivered under the old discount program through April 1st. That's $2.237 billion in back payments just to get them current through the 1st of April and reflects how long it's actually been since Ukraine was paying for its gas, no matter what price was being charged on paper. Russian officials announced earlier in the week that Gazprom, the world's largest natural gas company, will insist on upfront payments before any future deliveries to Ukraine. Though this makes sense on the surface, the situation is more complicated than that. That's because a lot of Russia's paying customers are in Central Europe, and gas goes through the pipeline into Ukraine. Cutting off gas to Ukraine risks them trying to siphon off those supplies 
or making shipments to Europe completely impossible. It's the desire to protect those markets that has Russia interested in cutting a deal with Ukraine, though with the interim government so far unwilling to pay its bills, a deal may be hard to broker. You've heard of shinybadges.com, but you need to check out the new causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy liberty project like the Free Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. So go to shinybadges.com, click on the new causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at shinybadges.com. Politico reports, in an unprecedented ruling, a federal judge has temporarily blocked the U.S. military from force-feeding a prisoner at Guantanamo Bay who has been on a hunger strike. U.S. District Court Judge Gladys Kessler issued an order Friday afternoon preventing the military from force-feeding Syrian national Abu Wa'el Dihad until a hearing set for next Wednesday on a legal petition he filed seeking to permanently bar so-called internal feedings. Kessler's order also prohibits authorities at the island prison from using force to move Dihab out of his cell to receive nutrition, a practice used when prisoners refuse to comply with demands to submit to feedings. Kessler wrote in her order, Respondents are temporarily restrained from any forcible cell extractions of petitioner for purposes of internal feedings and any internal feeding of petitioner until May 21st, 2014. Pentagon spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Todd Brussell said Guantanamo officials will abide by the direction. You've heard of shinybadges.com, but you need to check out the new causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy liberty project like the Free Ross Ulbricht Legal Defense Fund. So go to shinybadges.com, click on the new causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at shinybadges.com. Ballot Access News reports, on May 15th, a five-party debate was held in Brussels, Belgium, for candidates who seek the presidency of the European Commission. European Parliament elections are being held May 22nd through the 25th. Voters in European countries that are part of the European Commission do not actually vote for the president of the Commission. Instead, the European Council nominates candidates for president, and then the Parliament chooses the president. However, the most important coalitions of political parties have already chosen their preferred presidential designate, and these are the five individuals who participated in the debate. The coalition of conservative political parties did not choose a preferred presidential candidate, so it had no voice in the debate. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Americans across the nation made their voices heard this week as they demanded more mind-blowing guitar solos, calling for the solos to be, quote, face-meltingly cool and go on for 